What up, YouTube? Broke Farmer back for another video on this beautiful Sunday. And this is a Sunday chat. I am uh, one of your hosts, Broke Farmer. And this is your other host, the So Good Gardener, AK Brother Cal. I, I, look, I used to work with a guy named Cal, and we call him Brother Cal. So <laughs> it, it's very appropriate me calling him Brother Cal. <laughs> it, it's just what it is. It, it fits the situation. No now, I like to start all these lives out with something inspirational. Um, and this this about the realest thing you'll ever hear. Um, be original. Be the best version of you. I don't care how much money so good gardener got. I enjoy being me. Be an original. No matter how successful people are, emulate the journey and the things they do to get there, but don't emulate them. That's why I like Calvin. Calvin is old man. He don't, Calvin don't care about none of this. You you would never if you see Calvin make a video and you see him in Walmart the next day, it's gonna be the same dude. Yes, sir. Oh, Shots out to Gardner. If you are not subscribed to So Good Gardener and them raggedy cowboys, he like. Go over there now and check out Calvin. I can't stand the Cowboy of America's team. Boo. Hold on, your sound, your sound eating in and out. Is it? Okay. Hold on. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it's probably because he's a Cowboys fan. I mean, he, his, his internet got... <laughs> This internet guy probably cowboy fans, and you know how that go. Can you um, hear me? No. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Good. Now, okay, how, so how your day going, man? Uh, what, what's going on with you, man? What? Man, listen, I, I got about fifteen people coming on. Woo! We're gonna have a big white party. I'm I'm smoking some uh, pork. Butt. Hold on, you you couldn't in and out. As soon as you start talking about uh a watch party, that, that sounds like we don't even want to hear you. Y'all can hear me? No, I can hear you, but you cut in and out like you, you oh. sound real choppy. I don't know what it is, man. Now you clear now. I'm clear. Yeah. Okay, good. I, I don't know what it is. Okay. Uh, now I'm I'm about to uh block Sylvia. <laughs> No, wait, where'd you go? What's I'm up? about to block Sylvia. Uh, <laughs> Let's uh, go, Sylvia. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, hey, you know good and well. All the haters, everybody that, that don't like us, you're going to watch the game tonight. Either you're going to root for us or you're going to want us to lose. But one, one way, you watching that game. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the other end of that spectrum. Uh, I, I want y'all to lose. I want y'all to lose every game y'all ever play. I don't know why. I just I, I'm disgusted by the term America's team. I just say one football team is whole America. The whole America. It's our team. You gotta you gotta understand what it is. Either you love them or you love to hate them. The thing about a Dallas Cowboys fan, we could care less what happens with your team. But y'all know good well. You got to say something to us when our team loses or something happens. That's what makes it America's team because we are America's number one topic. We the first. We don't care what the 49ers do, what the Cincinnati Bengals do. It don't matter what your oh, any team does. So let them both go. Let one of them get in a car accident. Let one of them smoke a little bit of weed. Whatever. It's all over the news. Then you to have a car full of. Uh, Late night women, and the <laughs> man, I, <laughs> I went whatever. And <clears throat> nobody gonna say that. It is what it is. It's just a flash, and then it's gone. It'd be the number one topic trending all over Twitter if it was somebody on that played for the Cowboys. You know it, and we know it. Come on, that's what they. Uh, you, you might have some validity to what you're saying, but just, go, fa go Falcons, go Falcons, go Falcons. <laughs> I want y'all to win. I want y'all to win, even though you're playing against my home state. 
the material I'm telling you. Well, we ain't won there yet, but uh, when we beat Carolina, they will be on the road to great things. There you go. Let's Unbiased LLC in the building. Cal, you mind if I holler at some of these people? Well, hold on. You, you still, you got to click in there now. Hey, what's up? What you saying, Bob? Again? Yeah, you got to click in there. I don't know what that is. J3GS form in the building. Odom Homestead in the building. Welcome in, welcome in. Janice Cruising Homestead. What's up, Janet? In the building. Deborah, I mean, what? That was one. I don't know. God desired for me in the building. Hey, broke farmer and Calvin and chat. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, y'all. The experience with Sassy in the building. Hello, broke farmer. Happy blessed Sunday. So, so you just don't see Calvin now? What's up, experience with that? What's up, man? What? Y'all don't see Calvin sitting right there in that ugly t-shirt? <laughs> yeah. Right. And look, Calvin Bowwood, he all over here with this guy doing Dallas Cowboys shirt. I am. This, I am. Now, I got to jersey up later. You know, about kickoff, I'm, I'm going to be jerseyed up. Man, you know what? Ready to Bowler, go. Fooling with you. I knew I should have put my Falcon jersey on. I knew I should have put my jersey on. Fooling with you. Bye. Look at that. He can't look. <laughs> I, he want to make sure ain't none of the little spurt though. You <laughs> buy you sugar guard in the building. Hey, hey, broken cabin in chat. What up? What up, She, we here. We here. Glad to have you in here, she. Cheryl Faulkner in the building. Hey, broken so good garden. What up, Cheryl? You learn with Robert in the building. What's up, Robert? What's going on, fam? G Mama grows in the building. Glad to have you here. Hello, bro. From so good, guarding internet cousin. Zone six eight in the building. Let's grow. Let's talk about it. Uh, Sylvia Fit never quit. Hello, broken cabin. Everyone in the chat. Hey, Sylvia, check this out. I hope the cowboy <laughs> lose. <laughs> Randy G in the building. What's up, Randy? Glad to have you in here. Sweet Thorn in the building. What's up, Sweet Thorn? Glad to have you in here. Let me see. Uh oh, I'm making good time today, Cam. Uh oh. De <laughs> Deborah Garrett in the building. What's up, Deborah? Glad to have you in here. Harvey Container Garden in the building. Great afternoon, broke farm. So good garden chat. Who that? It ain't the Saints. <laughs> oh, who that nation in here, boy? <laughs> that is not who it is. <laughs> and look here, y'all turn the sign down on your football game and go ahead and enjoy the day talking about a little gardening with you. Best show on YouTube. Bro, Kevin, we just want a YouTube Emmy. Uh oh. David and gave us one. Let's go, David. Appreciate we it. Got, we don't got a YouTube Emmy, Kevin. Look at it. Let's go. Well, I'm sure appreciated, man. <laughs> I ain't right. never won that. Let's see. Uh oh, it jumped on me. Everybody speak, speak, speak. K Renee's garden in the building. What's up, K Renee? Glad to have you in here. Renee. You had a good live the other day, man. You see that? It was real good. Yeah, I catch a couple K Renee uh, lives from time to time. The analytic gardener. Hey, I saw your uh, watermelons from the past couple of years. Hey, analytic garden, you've been doing some big time things over there. There was some nice watermelon. But I will be the watermelon king. You already right put here. the crown on. Huh? You already put the crown on, so it's over now, right? No, it's 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 a couple uh it's a couple of them. Uh we had uh Nature Nine in the family. He had a 36 pounder. Good so ball. Nature okay. Nine in the go in the family, I believe you in this uh chat. Pop out the bush and say what's up to me and Kale, if you don't mind, sir. 36 pound watermelon. Good lord, man. 36, it was a big one. It was a big one. <laughs> GT Jr. grows in Alaska in the building. Glad to have you in here. GT. Nova indoor in the building. Yes, sir. Maria Graham in the building. Glad to have you in here, Maria. Uh, 
sent us some saw and more. Hey, Broken Cat, what's up? What's up, Sister Victoria? Gardening with Jacob in the building. What's up, Jacob? Glad to have you in. Jacob, this is your first time in here. Let us know. I'm almost at the bottom. I'm clicking the button fast as I can. She is sunshine in the building. What's up? She is sunshine. Glad to have you in here. Whole new perspective in the building. What's up? Whole new perspective. Uh, uh, Juicy with Jay in the building. What's up, Juicy with Jay? The dragon fruit king. Yes, sir. If you growing anything tropical, dragon fruit, uh, sugar cane, uh, pomegranate, go over there and holler at Juicy with Jay. He is killing it. He killing that. He he got it on lot for real. And and growing with Donnie, she don't get out the bushes too often, and I am pleased that she came out the bushes to hang with you guys broke for them today. What's up, growing with Donnie? We miss a video growing with that. What a video. <laughs> like, you start to get like Calvin. You know how Calvin is. <laughs> Man, <laughs> growing together, Nursery LLC. What up? Already burning out. I didn't hear no bell. Look, it, it, it's that time of the year, man. That summer heat. Whew. That summer Ooh. heat is like staying in the dope. What? Yeah. What, what that? What that Texas heat say, Kev? Man, stop it! It's listen. We got a cold front. <laughs> it's gonna be like in the eighties next week. That's a, that's a cold. Front. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't seen the eighties since like January. Okay. So, man, I'm looking forward to this. I already been out there just pulling up old crap and dropping seeds, and man, making it happen. So I'm ready. Bring it on. <laughs> We was 83 the other day, man. I spent, I know, four or five hours out there. Yes, just, sir. Just watching the sprinklers go round and round. <laughs> right. You can stay all day when it's like that. Tamiko D, the garden, the dirty garden needs to end up filled. I hear one garden uh, going, heat finally going away. So can I creep back outside? Yes. Very gently. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Respect. <laughs> respect that heat. Let's yes, do that sir. first. Yeah, that, that's that heat will choke you if you ain't careful. Yes, it's a mess garden in the field. Hey, broke farmer. Hey, so good garden. Hey, Chad. What's up? Uh, let me see. I'm almost at the bottom. Okay, man, I'm doing good. Doing a good job. Yeah, you are. I'm proud of you, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. Cali born beauty in the building. Hey, lol. Texas heat is something else. We got like 40 days above. 100 this time around. 40 First in a row. In a row. In a row with no rain. And, and you speak it to the choir because you know bro Cal over there in uh, Texas bunning up. Yeah. Boy. Uh, 9B is going to be highs in the 80s. Everybody going to be in the 80s next week. Next week, man. It's coming. It rained last night and it's supposed to rain today. I ain't got to turn my uh, sprinkles on. Woo-hoo. Must be nice. We oh, uh, they're still in the nineties in Houston, aka the oven. <laughs> the oven. <laughs> Netter's nest in the building. Glad to have you here, Tamika Davis. In wait, Tamika Davis in the building. Glad to have you in here. Uh, now today, bro, Cal, we're gonna be talking about garden burner. We were talking about how hot it was. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's some things you can do to combat the garden burnout. Did you know that? Man, I gotta be honest. I fell to the frustrations of it this past. Month. It was just bad. Man. I had to, I, I took the summer off because I couldn't keep anything alive. We, we were on water restrictions, so you gotta watch. It. You can only water two days a week because we were in a drought. So even the great so good gardener take a break. Don't feel I bad, y'all. I had to. Sonya Siegler in the building. Glad to have you in. What's up, Sonya? And I don't pay up by my guy. I, I thought I had spoke to him, but I have not spoke to my guy. David Corey with the cropper in the building. Uh, also representing that big Texas. That Texas. You gotta say Texas a certain way. Texas. Yeah. 
I gotta get me some shade cloth. I'm with you, David. I gotta get me some shade cloth, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to invest in those. It's, you got it's, rope. It's, yeah, I got shade cloth. It's just uh, you covering it, how much? How much of your garden? Uh, last year I didn't even use it. This year, last year I used it to cover my tomatoes. It, I think it was sixty percent shade right. cloth. Okay, but it didn't get that hot. I want to say we had one hundred degree day, or maybe two, and that's it. Usually in Georgia, it's way hotter than that. We had a really normal summer. Now, don't get me wrong, it's hot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. hot. But I remember as a kid, man, 101, 102, that ain't no, wasn't no big deal. So, yeah, I, I, I didn't even have to pull it out. My tomatoes uh, did well, no problem. Caliborn Beauty said, I'm still going strong. I didn't get one tomato, but I got cantaloupe, bean, peas, okra, and cucumber this summer. Well, first off, that's a big win. That's a big win. When you eating out your garden, you win it. Don't worry about that stinking tomato. And it ain't your fault. It's the tomato plants. They are raggedy, and they are ungrateful. You give them all that sunlight, all that fertilizer, all that water, they don't want to grow no tomato. That's on them. It ain't your fault. Agreed. Agreed. Kevin, why do we be putting all that pressure on ourselves to my well, oh, I can't get this plant to grow. It ain't always our fault. Maybe the seed weak. That's true. Come, we do, uh, man, matter of fact, I'm going to start doing a little bit more uh, start when it comes to tomatoes. I don't have good luck with with the seed. I, I do, but I, I, start in, I start inside maybe six weeks early. Okay. And then, yeah, by the time I get them out there, they, they in high school. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to do something different. Yisrael in the building. Glad to have you in here. Uh, I don't think I missed nobody else. Tamiko D, the dirty garden, needs to say, garden burnout is real. I had to do a back porch garden because I feared the sun. Now she didn't like the sun. She hmm. feared it. That got done. Sun will put fear in your heart. It will. That's so That's so man. It, oh, man. It was 980. It was 980 degree one day, Cal. I just looked out the window. Hey, yeah. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. I yeah. can't help. <laughs> Virtuous gardening and more in the building. Glad to have you in here. She say, bro, I'm on your head. I got two pineapple plants. She, I'm on your head. I got three now. <laughs> I got one. I only got one. No pineapple yet. I got one. Yeah, I'm waiting on. Dude, I hopefully I get one next year. The everyday life of an OCD ish chick. This is Nikki. So, hey, bro, so good garden and great cousins of this garden community. I'm in the building. <laughs> What's up, Nick? <laughs> I appreciate the setup. Appreciate the setup. Crafting Leo in the building. What's up, Crafting Leo? Hey, bro, for Mr. Cat, Mr. Mr. Cab. Put a mist on me. Hold up now. Mr. Cab. Oh my God. <laughs> Check in the store in the line. Okay, Mr. Cab. Right. Oh God. Okay. I, I I guess I look younger than Calvin or something, so I ain't got hey, to be hey, 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 that great for you, man. We just hey, look, mine just don't show up that good on camera. It's right there. <laughs> And wait, right now. I wish the whole beard was gray. I, you know, I wish it just turned gray overnight. You know, just finish it all off. I'm not, dude. I'm not gonna dye my gray. That's, no, I, I ain't gonna dye it gray, but I wish it was all just gray. You know, I hate yeah, it. I, that look cool when it all get gray yeah, at the same time. Now that look cool. Yeah. But I mean, dude, I don't live almost half a century. You know, yeah. I, that's an honor. A lot of it people is. don't live to be that age. I mean, man, that couldn't. Yeah. L1 to A in the building. Hey, bro, Cam and Chizak. One duh. Tamiko D said, yes, I was a little poor kid looking out the window in the Dr. Seuss book. Yeah. <laughs> Growing with Donnie said, I probably pulled my tomato too early, but they stopped flying. They were open. No, oh, no, 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 no man. No man. No, it's time for them to go. Right. <laughs> Hey, I, I, cut them, I cut them at the base and just let it, uh, you know, the, the roots are turning into, um, what is it? Hummus? Compost. Um, Hummus. Yeah. 
the compost. Yeah, I just let them. I, I cut them at the base. Yeah, I do too. It depends. It depends. Um, if they got time to break down, uh, in my containers, I won't do it. Yeah. If, yeah. I, if I'm gonna plant right back in there, but if if that container gonna sit empty for a little while, yeah, I just leave them in the container too. Yeah. Kiyata's journey in the field. What's up, Kiyata? Did I? I pulled up Sonya Siegler, but did I speak to Sonya Siegler in the building? Glad to have you in here. Uh, did I miss anybody? Okay. I don't think so. Let me pull it. Oh, yeah, I did. My GA sister, food by faith, guarding the table. Ooh, 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 doing big things over there. Big what things. What's up, family? Good no whammies. Oh, hold on. I saw somebody and then I didn't see. There you go. William Smith in the building. All blessings broke form. And they forgot they they uh they spell check. They meant to say all blessings uh broke form and brother K. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Laura's garden in the building. Glad to have you in here. Laura, if this is your first time here, let us know. Michael Sean in the building. Heat wave is over here in East Texas. Hey. Hey, you bring all the Texas people out, don't you, Kevin? For real, we coming out. We here, man. <laughs> man, it ain't been fair on us, man. Y'all, y'all been ahead of us. We get to do something finally. You know, this ain't been. It's, it's been bad. Y'all come on down to Georgia. Move to Georgia. We got plenty of land. Come on down. We, we get to come outside and play again, man. We ain't in the house looking out the window no more. We get to come oh. outside and play. <laughs> Say afternoon, uh, broken Kevin. We are talking about burnout on my live. To a couple weeks ago, when I had deep in the dirt on. Okay. 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 Might go over there and check that out. See what it was like. D little Lil Lil Garden in the field. Hey, bro, farmer and friend. Hand pink weight. You know what? I figured out what that was, Cal. What's that? On you <laughs> on YouTube, it do a emoji. I'm looking yeah. at it, of a pink hand waver, but it don't do the emoji on stream y'all, and it come up pink hand waver. Yeah, it, it's it's filled out. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Now, now we're gonna get into it, but before we do, um, all the moderators in here, be on the lookout for trolls. Trolls, we're gonna shut these trolls down. And if you are not a moderator and you in the uh, chat, click on there and tell YouTube to get them up out the live stream. Yeah. Now, this is how we're gonna deal with garden burnout. Number one, Kevin. Talk to me. Take a day off. Just got done. Go in the house and watch the football game. It's yeah. Sunday. And guess what else they can do? They can come hang out with us. That's right. <laughs> they come hang out with us. Take one day off and come. Wait, hold on. We just had a flood. Somebody live stream must have ended. <laughs> uh oh, everybody coming over? <laughs> Was Led live? I don't know. <laughs> he might have been earlier. Yeah, early. Miss Shirley OG Gardner in the building. Glad to have you here, Miss Shirley. Gina versus Gina in the building. What's up, Gina? Gina? Chris White in the building. North Carolina. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cam, I, I'm doing too much, Cam. My bad. <laughs> it's North right. Carolina in the house. Cam, now, when you get a minute, you're going you gonna to give us a shot at the grill, ain't you? Oh, man. Let me turn this thing around. Let me see her. Ooh, boy, yeah. I see that smoke coming out. Yeah, that's a little smoke. I can't even turn this thing around. You see them? Ooh. Hit them butts. Yeah. Pause, pause, pause. Hill of pause. See that fire back over in there? Smoking. She right. I'm about to wrap them up, though. Hey, Kel, uh, I email me a sandwich, man. Email me a sandwich. <laughs> I'm about to wrap them up now. <laughs> Miss yeah. T with me in the building. Old home says, say, I want more. Okay. Will Smith said, what's your top five chop and drop plant? I don't have five. Um, I just got one, actually, uh, comfort. comfort. That's the only chop and drop thing I use, comfort. Laura's Garden said, no, I just found out I had a channel, so I changed my name and added a picture. I don't have any content of as of yet. Oh, I don't care about that. <laughs> 
You ain't gotta have a bit of content. Everybody loved over here a little. Well, I, I'm not always loved over here because we, we had a situation. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Uh, food by face. I'm still overseas. It's 920. I cannot wait to get back to my yard. Hey, man, look here. I, I don't want to say what I heard. One of your neighbors emailed me and said two squirrels running off at your fruit tree down, down the street. So <laughs> I, ain't, I, ain't, I don't want you to panic. They say they had lemons falling everywhere. Don't be scared. Look at by you. Uh, say Calvin show the bridge. He already showed it. I already showed it. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, I feel like I missed somebody. Boys, oh, Kevin, that charcoal of wood you you using there, sir? We burning wood, baby. Wood, hickory and oak. Hickory, 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 dickory yeah, dot. Uh, hickory and oak. The Boston butt went up the clock. <laughs> Fatima yeah. Nash in the building. What's up, Fatima? Aisha Howard in the building. It's cutting Aisha. We've been hanging for a while now. Cutting Aisha. Uh, K Renee's guard in the building. Aunt Ford Barbecue in the building. Look now. Aunt Ford, I know you enjoy what Bro Cal just showed you then. Yeah, you gotta be. Gotta uh, be, baby. Look, uh, Roy would done say, Cal, I'm gonna send you my address. I cash you the cash after you the overnight for you. Calvin said he got buku people. And look, this is a country word. Now, this is a country word. Calvin said he got buku people coming over here tonight. Buku. He ain't got nothing to show. That is 15, 15 now, people. 15, 15. 15. Right, look, I, I used to play dumb know with a guy to say, you say 15, 15. Yeah. Uh, now, look. That garden burnout, taking the day off is very important. I don't care how hot it is. You losing one day of water and garden work, it's not worth you losing your whole garden because you just don't got fed up and tired of it. It's not worth it. Take that one day and just sit back. Watch some YouTube videos. Get yes. up on your research on your craft. If gardening is your craft, Research your craft. Put put that mind work in. We get so caught up in the garden with physical work that we can get the mental work. Take a step back. Understand what's going on in your garden, what you're trying to accomplish, and the things that it takes to accomplish where you're trying to go. That's true. I got to admit. Take, take was, a step I mean, back. I was so freaking frustrated. It was just the heat. It was weather for me. It's, it's, oh. you, and like Cam was talking about that shade, Paul, when you take a step back and you take that day off to try to get clarification in your garden, go ahead and, and, and figure out what you need to do to keep this process going. But you can't go hard in the paint every day in that garden and don't expect to get some burnout. Burnout is part of the game. You get burnt out at your job. You get burnt out on your marriage sometimes. Burnout is a real thing. If if gardening is supposed to be that thing that alleviates some of the stress in your life and it becomes a stressor, you got to take a step back. Just like at your job, you have vacation and PTO day. That's for you to step back once you got burnt out. And it's the same concept when it comes to garden. You got to have a step back. Take You know what? Take a PTO day out of the garden. Take a PTO day. I'm, I'm getting everybody in this chat, Kevin, two, two PTO days. I like a that. Year, a year. You get two garden PTO days a year where you can peep out the goddamn window and whatever happened, if squirrels running up and down your uh, apple trees or whatever, is what it is. You're not going out there. I like that. So, everybody I'm, needs that. I'm getting everybody two garden PTO days. Use them at will how you want to do them. That's only fair. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. You got to use them. But got you got to. to use them. Because they don't roll over, Cam. No. You they can't. don't roll over. <laughs> they don't. If you don't oh. use them, you lose them, baby. <laughs> you got to use them. William Smith say, when your watermelon vine fruit, do you cut the vine to focus the energies toward the fruit, or do you just let it do what it do? I think uh, most people know. I let it do what it do, baby. 
I ain't, I ain't pruning no watermelon vine. And the concept of pruning watermelon vine is one of the smartest things ever because you you wanted to focus this energy down on that one watermelon. But guess what? I want a bunch of watermelon. Matter of fact, I want a heap of watermelons. Heap of. Look it up. Look it up in the dictionary. I want a heap of. I'm in the South. Calvin understood that kind of. You said a what now? A heap of them. Oh, a heap of. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Heap of. <laughs> <laughs> That's a country talk for your butt. Oh, with of course. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> Caps. Caps uh -oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, if that, if y'all don't know what that is, come on now. That's in a, chat, somebody in the chat got to do it. A heap of them is. Heap of them. I want a heap of water. I, will, I, will, I want somebody from the north to tell us what a heap of them is, though. They have no idea, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no idea. Heap of them. <laughs> but no, I I do not uh cut my vine to focus energy toward a particular fruit. I let my vines grow wild. I put them in a spot where I, I expect them to go at least six feet out in distance. So around where I plant that seed, I expect six feet of vine each ways. I don't trellis my watermelon. I don't put them in stockings and uh socks and everything else to put them up. I just, I feel like it's too much work. I, I'm really into lazy gardening. I plant my seed and I let them run. What happened after that? I cross my fingers and eat the watermelon. That's it. By you. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Rambo green hands in the building. What's up, Rambo? Glad to have you in here. Uh... I saw Bear Brown. Wasn't it Garden with Bear Brown? He yeah, that's cut, my guy. Cut it after after the watermelon sets up, and it'll get bigger because it's focusing the energy and all this other stuff. Yeah, man, man, I usually let that thing go too. I gotta be honest. Now, one thing I did hear Bear Brown Bear Brown say that I didn't believe when he said it, but I believe it now. The first fruit on every watermelon plant will probably rot out. Really? Yes. That very first fruit that's set probably ain't going to make it to maturity. And I paid attention to that. Most of my new ones, they started uh, getting, uh, it looked like blossoming and rot, but it's not blossoming and rot. And they rotted out. They get, get a little size on what it looked like they've been pollinated, and they just start rotting. I was like, wow. Homestead in the hood in the building. Peace broke for my guests in chat. What's the word? Oh, this is uh brother Cal aka so good gardener in the building. Uh a couple more people popping in. When I counted, it was 16 people. What 16? You jump that quick. Yeah, I'm I'm lost already, Cal. 16 people. Oh, 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 she talking about in the live. It was 16 people in the live. Oh, okay, okay. When I kind of, it was 16. Yeah, it jumped pretty fast. I like to come in and have a good time on set. Hey, these folks ain't here to see me. These, everybody, it, it's 94 people in here, 90 of them from Texas. They came to see Kevin. It's got doing Dallas Cowboy shirt. This, this, <laughs> everybody who is not uh, coming in these comments is a so good Gardner fan, and they watching the Cowboys, so they can't uh, come in. So we play tonight, seven fifteen kickoff, Central Standard Time, baby. Eight man, look at okay. I'm gonna, sure, I'm gonna make sure I text you when they lose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm mute you for a little while if you do. <laughs> TLC in the garden, you know. Hey, what's up, TLC? Uh, South Florida sunshine say so. Take a day off. I am taking note. My problem is I run opposite and growing annuals compared to you all. You know, you shouldn't be that far far different. If you ten, I don't know. We shouldn't be but a month apart in what we sold in first uh, frost and stuff like. We shouldn't be no more than a month out. Yeah, probably about a month max. Uh, <clears throat> ooh, the chat got deep. 
Craig with Tuck in the building. What's up, Tuck? Michael A in the building. The heat and zero rain has burned me out majorly. Why you in the right place? Cal, how did he know? Hey, listen, listen. It hadn't rained. Well, we got a shower the other night. It lasts about 30 minutes. You know, that was the first time in almost three months we had rain. Well, we got some last night, and it's coming back today, baby. That car is going to be, ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Next week, we got three days of it next week. I think three three or four days, something like that. But I said, finally, man, it forgot how to rain over here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it was bad, man. Cases 55 in the building. Glad to have you here in Cases 55. Micro Farmer in the building. Bro. You got all right, going on over there. Yeah, chicken tree micro farmer doing it all over there. Yep. And he gives some good information on the guy doing rabbits. Them, them rabbits. Them <laughs> rascally rabbits. <laughs> I know it. Now, the next thing, Kevin, is Find new varieties of plants to keep your interest level alive. I've been doing some research with that. And uh, I'm trying to find things that can take this heat, this summer heat. I'm looking at like mulberries, different types, and, like logies and stuff like that. Because um, I'm big in the fruits, man. Like, listen, yeah. I like to grow up. And then, you know, the garden is cool. I need yeah, cool. fruit trees. And then I need them fruit trees and them bushes. Okay. The garden is great. It is what it is. Yeah. But man, when it comes to, you know, I just want fruit all over the place out there. Oh man. Oh. Touching each other, just slapping around each other. Just trees, oh. you know, trees and then under the tree, I want the bushes underneath the bushes, the trees. You know what I'm saying? I want oh. fruit everywhere. So that's what I, I'm I just, looking at. I just, I just want to walk through my backyard and, and I got to put this fruit out the way, Cal, to, to get through there. I, I, I got apples and pears and oranges. I'm just, man, I'm like, God, there's too much fruit out here. Oh. <laughs> yes, that's, that's the goal, man. That's where I'm at. That's what I'm that's trying to do. F. Smith well said a heap of them. She know how to spell it, Cal. Heap of them. Heap of them. Heap of them. Heap of them. <laughs> Let me see. I didn't miss nobody else. PIA, Passion and Tree Arts in the building. What's up, PIA? PIA. The whole gist of the, the uh, finding new varieties is to pique your interest again. You get burnt out because you've been growing the same okra and you got, I got two bags of two pound freezer bag full of okra. God. I, 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 every day I pull another okra plate. I'm just tired of looking at okra at this point. But if I had new varieties, I'm like, oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. It's hard to get burnt out when you're so intrigued by a new plant you see and you want to grow it, that it starts sparking in that fire again. That fire gets going in you for gardening. That's 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 all it is. You like me and Cal with fruit trees. We love the trees we got. Yeah. But ain't nothing like a new fruit tree. That's right. No way. <laughs> but, hey. I'll be looking like, where can I put that one? Yes. <laughs> where can hey. I put that one? Man, I got a whole, look, I got a pear, a magnolia feed, and uh, a nectarine coming. I mm. promise you, Kevin, every day I go out there, I'm looking for, where I'm going to put this in? Yeah. I'm gonna put this in. Well, man, I'm dude, I'm so intrigued by that, dude. I, when that tree get here, okay, oh my god, oh my god. I, I've never ate a magnolia fig before. I ain't ever heard of a magnolia fig. Oh man, it, it, it's supposed to taste like molasses. Oh, molasses and something and brown sugar, I think they said. Oh, oh, well, I think. I need, I need a warm biscuit and just pour that thing over the top of Ooh. it. Ooh. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Cam, it was Cam, it was 18 bucks. Eighteen dollars. Yeah. Uh uh on bottom nurse for 18 bucks. Hey, hey, Michael Farmer say we know 
what I mean, our people from the south, even if you up north, your people from the south, you don't hear them talk and you laugh at them at the family union, but you know what they mean. Yep. Keep of them. I need Keep. more room for those vines and protection for the fruit living off of a canal critter taken. A candle? Canal critter taken. Yeah, hold up. I don't know. It's a, I know a critter, though. Yeah, a critter taken. Uh, atmosphere in the building. Say, I tried to grow sugar babies in the kiddie pool and they grew, but wasn't good. What happened, Calvin? Now, now, in a kiddie pool, yeah, now, okay. the potting soil or whatever. Okay, now that now this year, uh, this year guy broke farmer. Now, I'm the watermelon king, so yeah. w- without knowing what soil <laughs> you put in there, how often you fertilize, how often you watered it. I'm going to tell you what the problem is. I'm, I'm going to tell you what the problem is. The watermelons need deep roots yeah. to grow. Deep root. I want to say a kiddie pool is probably, I don't know, one foot deep. Oh, let no, me see. It's about, about eight inches. About eight inches deep. Yep. Which, that ain't bad. But they want room to grow. They got room to grow this way. But they ain't got the depth. Eight inches in a raised bed. I don't know. That's enough room, though. Yeah, but they just gonna spread out. Though they need they yeah. need to find water. You got to be watering them things all the time. I oh mean, no no no! I didn't read it right. It said I tried to grow sugar babies in the kiddie pool and they grew, but wasn't good. What happened? Ah, I got that one too, Kale. Look, I'm gonna know it all the day, sir. <laughs> wasn't good. Okay. Stop watering it close to the time you're gonna harvest it because it waters down the, the flavor. Three days out from harvesting, stop watering it. And there you go. Did, did not know that. There you go. Now watermelons like a lot of water. A lot. But once you get so much water, water right around the time you're gonna harvest it, it changes the flavor. And it's not as juicy. I mean, not as uh sweet. Nasty be the scratcher in the building. Cap, I'm, I'm answering all questions, everything. Even if I know the answer or not, I'm going to tell you what I think. <laughs> <laughs> Tamiko D said, now, what's a good remedy if you get tired of eating from the garden? Plenty of times I slip and went out for takeout. Now, first off, I'm sitting here with a goddamn windless cup full of wine. Dude, you know what? We all get, you know, we all get a little takeout, a little fast food, but I don't get tired of eating my, my food. I, I'm telling you, half the time it don't even make it in the house. Yeah, and that too. <laughs> I'm but, <a> look, <laughs> but something I have been trying to do, I freeze a lot of it. I do, and some days you just don't want to cook. Nobody wants to eat tomatoes seven days in a row or cucumbers seven days in a row. Yeah. It's just what it is. So. The more varieties you got, more different things you have have to uh, choose from, then you're going to eat it more. But that also go along with growing the stuff that you already eat. Stop growing the stuff that you don't eat that look good on the uh, Baker Creek package. That's what it is. A lot of stuff look good on that package and don't taste good. I'm going to put that out there and I'm going to leave it there. Whole new perspective. Say the buzz and critter wanted my watermelon vine more than I did. Mine didn't stand a chance. Let them have it. God, let them have it. Let them have it. If you got a, if you, if you got okay, if you got to fight over watermelon, my friend. Yeah. Leave it down. Yeah. Leave it down. It is not that serious. Forget that. No. I watched one video. Uh, I think it was back to our roots. They were eating out the inside of the watermelon. I'm like, what is that? They ate the whole, <laughs> ate the, ate the whole inside of the watermelon. I said, "Oh my God, let them have that one." Now. <laughs> right. Oh, right. For that. No, going with Dunn and said, "No, no, no, no." Sixteen people at Calvin Barbecue. He forgot to count me. You said there were fifteen people. Oh, come. oh, oh. <laughs> come on over. <clears throat> Atmosphere eight B. That's a good growing zone. I I said this before. Uh, zone 8A and Zone 8B are the greatest place to grow for grow things, a, a whole variety of things. Let's put it that way. Uh, maybe that 
fruit is kind of like practice for the vine. With our jackfruit tree is learning to throw both male and female flowers. First, then it will throw them together next season fruit. I don't know nothing about jackfruit. Me either. <clears throat> I wish I could grow it, though, because I have had some vegan meals, and most of the vegan meats are made out of jackfruit. Yeah, yeah. And I love vegan food. I do. You know uh, let me see. Oh, I'm sorry. Miss D's Hollywood Garden in the building. What's up, Miss D? Now, we're going to get one more. Queenie's Plants Garden in the building. What's up? Uh, Greetings, Broke Farmer and Brother Kale. I have been in the garden all day, just having to catch your live while checking my phone. I kept myself from getting burned out. It is just too important for us to grow food. Yeah, but it's it's important to have good health. But we just talked about it. we eat windows and other stuff. So you still got to have that little motivation or, or kick to keep you going. You Veggie farming in the field. What's up, veggie What's up, farming? Veggie farming? All right. Now, this is going to be a little controversial, brother Kay. I ain't going to lie to you. This this going to move some people the wrong way. Uh -oh. Now, get away from too many containers. Containers are a lot of work. And I'm going to tell you why. All the nutrients that go into containers is what you put in them. You control all the nutritional factors for that container. In the soil, your plants can reach down and get stuff out the ground. So you can get burnt out easy with a lot of containers. Very, very easy. Now, Kevin, you you uh you got a couple of containers yourself, don't you, sir? I got a couple, yeah. It just depends on what it is. Like with me, I have to bring my uh citrus inside during the hard part of the winter, hardest part. So I keep that in there. See, um, I've got um, grapevines. They're going to stay out. Uh, I can't put them in the ground because I can't have them running all over. I got to put them So uh, people that's growing in containers when it comes to things like that, I understand. But when it's like growing cabbage or something like that, any vegetables, as soon as you harvest it, you got to re re Fertilize that whole to grow something else because it's all gone. It took it all just to grow that one vegetable. And there were two vegetables, or however big the raised bed may be. But what's up, Tim? I see you in here. What's going on? Yeah, that's that's some of the things. I, I just try to stay away from you know too many containers, even though I've got them. I don't use them, but sparingly. Top 10, 10, 10, 10, the <laughs> educated natural in the building. Well, I have you here, Tim. I feel like I feel like she deserved that intro every time. Of course. Tim, Tim, Tim. <laughs> this this is five. And this is five. So when I do that, it's ten. Ten. Yeah, I, I, I got too much free time. South Florida Sunshine said we can plant spring and cool weather crops through winter here. Spring here is more like summer, but late springs, wait, wait, spring. Here is more like summer, but late spring starts to end our growing season, except for crops that can get wet and hot. What what crop don't get wet? Huh? I don't understand that. South Florida, South Florida, what you growing over there? You can't get what? You said what now? I don't know. Crops that can get wet. Hmm. I don't know. I'm confused on that. Hey, we actually do. <laughs> I'm confused. Not a side. Uh, did we delete her? We accidentally. Uh, ah, I didn't do that right. Never mind. Uh, press is so okay. You accidentally got timed out. It's okay. It's nothing you did. I don't know how to put it back, but it's 300 seconds. You come back in 300 seconds. It's just, it's just a mistake. You know, we, we got them thongs get in the way. 
Atmosphere said, "Isn't it good at growing beasts? If so, what's the secret? Don't don't plant them. That's the secret. <laughs> beasts are horrible. Beasts are from the devil. Man. Satan put beast seeds on earth. <laughs> I don't grow. I never have. Um, I'll grow a radish. I'll grow a turtle, but I can't do it. Beast is horrible. This is horrible." I, I, I think something is wrong. I would never date a woman that ate beets. I would think something's wrong with it. <laughs> you can play for them. Some people love them. Uh-uh. No, I won't. Oh, I forgot. I missed somebody. Hey, Grace Guys in the building. What's up, Grace Guys? Why the have you in here? I ain't missed nobody else, did I, Kay? No, I haven't seen anybody. Uh -huh. Hey, look, this... Somebody always got to come in here, Mr. Crawford. Beats are great for you. Yes, they are. They yeah, are. For you. Yes. Hey, you might do some juice if you blend it with something else, some pineapple juice, and you gotta you gotta sweeten that thing up. I mean, I'm talking about just a couple of drops. Put it in a smoothie or something. That's the only way I can get the beats down. Oh, <laughs> I see what this. I can do it. South Florida, Sunshine said, I'm in uh Florida. Wet like never in the tropical rain. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Man, cow would complain. Yeah. Like what? Plant can't get wet. <laughs> right. <laughs> nah, cow. Yes, sir. This some you gonna enjoy. Talking. What? Sometimes when you get burnt out, take a step back from the garden and move over to them fruit trees. Just Come on now. Fruit trees. I, it's I, a job. Why you talking, man? Put some new mulch around your fruit trees. Yeah. But let me tell you a secret, what I do, okay? Before I mulch that thing, I get some uh, compost and put it in. Then I mulch some it. What? Compost. Compost, I, okay. Yeah, I pull it, I expose the, the roots of the tree and everything, right? Put compost down, just like you do a mulch. And then put your mulch on top of double. You can say it both the trees get Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. You, 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 your sign going in now, and you look. I picked up my pen and take note. Look. Oh, let's see. <laughs> you got me. You got me. All right. So I go to Lowe's and I get this. It's called uh, Living Earth. It's like four dollars a bag. Living Earth. Yeah. It's in white, white and blue bag. Um, what? Let me show you. Hold on. Let me pull this thing up. It's called Living Earth. I ain't never heard of that. Man, hold up. I got. You. I feel like you put me on game now. Uh, compost. It's a compost. Oh yeah. They don't they, sell that in Georgia. Hello? Uh -uh. What? No. Is it new? Is it new? No, man. It's been. No, we don't. Low, my loads don't have it. Then. It's probably local. Then. It must. Uh, it must be all my Texas people getting that thing. I'm, I'm gonna try to find it though. It's in a, it's usually back there. It's in a white bag. Oh God, hold on. But very oh yeah. Country hustle just said first off, shots out of country hustle 101 in the building. What's up, family? Um they said living earth is local. Is it local? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, let's say local. Okay. I but, but, but any but said, any any of the compost other than cow, everybody uses black cow. Find another compost that's almost like a mulch texture. That's what living earth is. Now we do have something, uh, it's just a generic brand. Yeah. And it's more like that. It's more like grainy, like yeah, fibery, like a mulch compost. That's what I use. Put some of that, I pull, I expose all the roots, or I, not all the way down to the roots, but I break all the mulch back. Yeah. And then I put that down probably a inch or two thick. Then I put my mulch on top of that. You talk about the tree. That's why I told you with the plum. It grew probably four feet this year. That uh, Santa Rosa plum. It took off. Now, now that all that free uh free game, brother Cal just gave you. Go over there and check his channel out. Cause Cal said he's gonna do a video on this very top. I can do it. Go, <laughs> go over there and subscribe to you guy Calvin, and he's gonna show you what he do. But yeah. Calvin, continue, sir. Continue. And it's gonna feed him. Like even when they, I want my I want my fruit trees to eat when they sleep, okay? Ooh. 
Just think about it. Just, just say that again. Say that again, Kev. That, that was hard. I want my fruit trees when it's the fall and they're trying to go to sleep. They're trying to take their they winter nap. They're hibernating. I want them to eat while they sleep, y'all. I want them to go to sleep with a spoon in their mouth. All right? Yeah. So, okay. I put, okay. all I want to do, just I'm going to do that. I'm telling you, all you got to do is put that smoke or that uh, compost down. Then you mulch over the top. And once that spring gets, what you expect? They're going to take off. Oh, if it's like, been, a, like a rocket ship. That's what I'm right. thinking, okay? They done absorbed all that all over the winter, uh, all over late fall, winter, early spring. Spring, once it warms up, they're going to take off. Okay. Now, I'm going to be full of fruit this upcoming season, this spring. Now, now Kara, can I talk to you for a second, sir? Now, I got a lot of fruit trees in the ground. Yes, now, what, what if I put that compost on top of the mulch? Would that work? Well, that I, don't work. work. I don't think it would work as good. And you don't have to put that much down. You can just pull the mulch back, you know, a foot away from the base. But I got to do that 22 times, okay? Yeah, you got a lot of them. You got to see. And I'm a busted bag champion, okay? okay. So that's, that's so, what I'm looking for whenever I do that. And it, the one I'm talking about comes in a two cubic foot bag. That's a big bag. Yeah, so I, I'm not gonna put that that two cubic two, two cubic foot bag could probably go around three or four trees. Yeah, okay. well, you know the rate that I'm gonna do it, it can go around three or four trees. Okay, and I don't I don't fertilize my trees. I don't do anything to them. I don't okay. put any bone meal, any kind of meal at all. No, I, I don't fertilize. Them. And so, I so many plums this past season, man, it was it was, it was ridiculous. And that, those these are the plum pots. These are the big boys. So not, not Kale. Yeah. Now what you telling these good people in this chat and you know Kale, some of the greatest gardeners. We got nursery owners in here, uh right. frequent our chat. You are telling me that you don't need all these high dollar fertilizing amendments to grow food. Is that what you is that what you're trying to get these folks to believe? That's what I'm trying to tell them, man. I don't buy it. Y'all, you don't need it. You really don't need it. And that's why people think gardening is so expensive. Because that's what they're showing you that you need, and you don't. And, and, and you know what? I'm going to break it down a little more. And I'm <clears throat> Now, what Calvin's saying, all right, if a tree is in the ground and it needs water, what is it going to do? Send them roots deeper. Deeper. It's going to go get it. So if your tree need nutrients, those roots are going to seek out nutrients and it's going to go deeper. So maybe we shouldn't give these trees so much stuff. And I've always gone by the rule of after two years, I don't even fertilize my trees in the ground. I let them get it. But I do mulch them heavy. I do mulch them heavy. That turns into compost. So what if what Kevin's saying is the greatest idea ever that you just put compost on top of it, mulch it up, and you good. You good, man. I'm and I, I, I'm going to go get a couple of those cheap bags that we got, and I'm going to see what I can do with them. And I'm growing in clay. I don't have clay. black gold, this, this pretty stuff that everybody digging up out there. My that black God. gold, that Texas tea they be talking hey, about. <laughs> Fred. It looked like a hot mess out there, and them trees is taking off. Okay. It's, it's it's so much to growing fruit trees, man, and just getting it right. Because if you put a fruit tree in the wrong spot, I promise you, I got a spot in my yard right now. I planted two fruit trees, in, and they both died. I haven't had a fruit tree die in a year now, but that one spot, I can't get in to grow there. I don't know what it is. But sometimes it's just the tree placement in your yard. It's so many small things. You might have a rabbit that when he comes through your yard, he comes to that spot and he eats stuff up. Yep. You might have had, uh, you might have been spraying for weeds, whatever, and you spilt the bucket right there and nothing grow there. It's so many factors. If you put something in a place that don't grow, don't put nothing else there. Move it on. I'm telling you. Look, Living natural in the buildings. Say hello, just made it in on the beach combo. I agree. Best way to preserve. I love to eat them with my slaw. Ooh. 
Hey. <laughs> What's wrong? Mm. Mm. Oh, you do it in some good cold flow now? It's got to be mayonnaise based. None of this vinegar based cold slaw stuff. <laughs> I love cold slaw, dude. Ain't nothing like a slaw dog. A beef slot slaw dog is nothing better. Yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. Uh, atmosphere 8B zone. Say I had three. I had palm tree for three years and no fruit. You gotta be patient with the palm you got, tree. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. You got to wait. Um, which which ones did you have? I got the Burbank and the uh, Santa Rosa. And weird thing that uh, my Burbank, uh, my Burbank put on a whole bunch of flour, but we got that cold spell like everybody did. But my Santa, Ro no, my Bur Burbank. And what I said earlier was the old, whatever. But my Burbank clown has three flowers on it now. Right now? Right now. I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is. One thing I can tell you I've been doing, as I've been pulling up my summer crops, I've been chopping and dropping all that stuff on top of the mulch out there. So I don't know if it's, it takes a while to break down, so it shouldn't be, Acting as if I'm fertilizing it because it takes a while to break down. Right. But it's either that or the tree from the dock. One of those. Nah, it's just confused. I don't know. Ain't no telling. But uh, yeah, them plums, man. You got to, you got to make this. I think they can dig deep first. They go deep first and then they can. So once they because it's going to hold a lot of fruit. Plums are loaded usually. Yeah. Yep. Branches break on mine. Uh, is probably almost three years old, but that that we call it the Arctic frost. It was 16 degrees, but it had already put on flowers and it killed all the flowers. And yeah, that's the only reason I didn't get no fruit this year. Queenish Plants Garden said, My entire garden is contained. My garden was a success. No, 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 no. I'm not, <laughs> no. I'm not saying you can't successfully grow things in containers. The point I was making is more work. That's, yes. that's the only point I was making. I had a problem with my potato, but every everything else did beautiful. No, 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 no. I grow in containers too. No, no, no. I we, all, yeah, we all we do. Yeah. It's just for choice. But we we all grow in containers. Yeah. yeah. Uh growing together nurse LLC said plant your trees high if you mulch them so you don't bury the grass. Yeah. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Never bury that uh, graph line. And <clears throat> everybody might not agree with this either, but I'm going to tell you from experience, fruit trees like citrus trees that you put in a container, let that little feeder root hang out on top. Man, let me show you. I'm going to show them, bro. I'm going to go out here and show them. It's better to show them. They, they need, you know, this is show and tell. A, a, little a little visual, if you please. Man. My Dusty Rose voice. Yeah. <laughs> you need a little show and tell there once in a while. You talking about, okay, y'all see this fruit right here? Oh, Calvin's Channel. Can somebody drop Calvin's Channel? It's so good, Gardner. Y'all see this fruit right here? What's up, so with Carla? Okay, y'all see Let me put you on the big screen. Right? Hold on, let me put you on the big screen. See the roots? Do you, do you see the roots, y'all? That's what he's talking about. This is a tangerine right here, okay? Them roots still going down in that pot. They still doing what they need to do. Let me show you a key line. Don't pay, don't pay no attention to that. I'm, I'm grilling right here. But, okay. You see that right here? Yeah. See what he's talking about, y'all? The feeder Everybody roots. Everybody see it? They, they going to eat. That tree going to eat. Them roots on the top. We good? Yeah. But that's what we're talking about. All right, let me get back in. Hey, hey, appreciate the visual, big guy. Appreciate yes, the Could visual. You, that's what you need right there. Let them roots, you know, hang out a little bit. Uh, Kim's her stage gardening her life in the building. Uh, say, question, Calvin, which fruit trees need to be put inside if they're harsh wood? Ooh, citrus. Wow. Uh, it's one of the Like, what? Are you in containers? Everything you got in containers? Like, um, I bring my, uh, I used to bring my mulberry in, but I had it in containers. I had the, the dwarf one from Logies, but now I put them in the ground, so they're fine. Um, what I'm going to bring in my, bring in my Barbados cherry. Oh, yeah. Bring that in. 
Because if you leave that outside, you leave that frost hit it. So things like that. I don't know what else he may have, but most, most definitely a fit for the team. Like got to see me while come quiet. Not um and like Carol said, the pin on your zone, a lot of things. Once they get big, they might be able to go out there. But you, yeah, some stuff like just anything that's tropical, pull it in. Pull it, pull it in. in. Pull it in, pull it in. Hella pause. But uh, yeah, I agree with Kevin on that. Uh, I killed the Barbados cherry. The, the fruit is delicious. I just got tired of bringing it in and out. I'm not going to lie to you. Barbados cherries are one, one of the most sensitive trees I've ever seen in my life. I can't do it. Even my um, Pakistan mulberry that's supposed to produce the biggest mulberries in the world, Craig. Um, I put that in the ground. I got to see what it do, man. It's supposed to be able to go in the ground in my zone. Yeah. It's got to go in the ground. The only thing I'm pulling in the citrus tree. Things going to be outside. Is what it is. Big Every tree, uh, yeah. Only thing that's gonna go in my greenhouse care is citrus. And but look, Kevin, I got from C a Fukushu conquer, Kevin. Oh Ooh. man. Oh my god. I need oh you, my god. I need you to vacuum seal on it. I think let me taste it. Just let me taste it sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Vacuum. <laughs> Five years. Five years. Yeah, to get fruit. Yeah. Oh. What's up, G E a die E in the building? Glad to have you in. Kim, her stage, her garden life said, Kevin, I'm in Texas zone AA. All my fruit trees and containers. I have fig tree, lemon, mandarin orange, young pear. Now, which of those, Kevin, do you think she should bring in? That that thank you, Kim. That makes it so much easier. Definitely the man. Orange, the uh, lemon and the fig. It depends on how big it is. If it's new and cut or something. Hold on, Kev. You cut out your voice. Oh. Your, your voice chopped. Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Like if it's the fig tree, it depends on how how big it is. Um, and what size container you got it in. You got like a big size container. You can leave that outside. It's gonna be just fine. You may need to um. Like wrap it in girl lap though, because a lot of times big containers they'll die back. It's gonna happen. It depends on how cold. Um, you can definitely wrap it up. If it dies back. It's gonna grow back. Okay, the root system probably won't die. But the computer system is gonna have to start right back over. Cal, every third or fourth word pop out, then you pop back in great, and then you chop out. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> really but when, when you just said that, everything sounded smooth. I don't get it, man. I'm doing the same thing. But I told her it depends on the size of the fig tree. Okay? And and the uh, variety. This is Chicago hard. Like oh, oh. When, when you start talking louder, it registers all that when you start talking light, lighter, then it starts popping in and out. That's what it is. So I need to be louder? Yep. As soon as you say that, everything popped real good. All right. Dang on you. Okay. I'll speak up here. All right. So, yeah, it all depends on the size of the fig tree. But your, your citrus, you definitely bring that inside. Okay. And then you said a young pear, the pear can stay outside. It's going to be fine. That pair, they, they leave them out in the nursery a little five gallon container. So it, you don't ever have to worry about that pair. If you in zone four or five or something, okay. if you're in zone, good. Oh, somebody said whatever you got your phone sitting on might be missing sound. Up. Just on a, let me see if I move that. And I do that. But you got loud. It. it did? Yeah. I'm going to bust all kind of stuff up in here. Let me see. I ain't trying to break the phone. Ah, what about now? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Better. yeah. Say something else. Can y'all hear me now? Yeah. 
We good? I don't know if it's gonna stay right there. I can't move though. Can you hear right. me? We good? Yeah, we're good. All right. Now you are not talking to me at all, Kim, but I'm gonna put my two cents in here. Yeah. If you can put that pear tree, if that pear tree over three, four feet, put that joke in the ground. Brown. For real. Ah, For real. That, that pear tree won't be in the ground, okay? It won't yeah. be in the ground. Cause yeah, yeah, them roots did they they dig deep too, so put them in the ground. If uh, I whole, whole new perspective say thanks for sharing info on the root. My clementines are on the tree. I don't think they will fully grow the harvest here in Zone Seven B. I do bring my citrus in the garage during the winter. Yeah, uh, Donna says she got two baby Barbados. I can't c- confirm they are dramatic. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they I are. couldn't deal with it. It was too much, man. Diane here and say thanks for sharing that so good garden. I was wondering, did I need to put in the soil on my lemon tree roots because they are showing just no. like that? Now I know. No, you're good. Yeah. I do. First off, I like to put everything in the ground. Let's throw it though. If if it's something I think <laughs> we grow, I'm putting it in the ground. If I you should say whatever he did, got his phone sitting. Oh, yeah, that's who's made the comment. Uh somebody said using uh it was hard nah. time said thanks for the fruit tree info. Uh KT KT said, How uh when do you prune the fruit tree? First time here. Now we're gonna have some different opinions on this. That's why I like Cam. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have some different opinions on this. We are first off, it depends on the fruit tree. I don't prune citrus tree at all. Me either. Don't touch it. However they grow, that's how you want to grow. Right. <laughs> now, when it comes to things in ground like pears, peaches, plum, uh, my nectarine, when I get it, I cut the main leader branch, the main leader branch, I'm not the branch, yeah, it's the branch, main leader out so it doesn't get too tall. I don't want no fruit tree to be over eight feet. I can't pick fruit at my old age, climbing no door tree or climbing no ladder. So at eight feet, I cut that main leader out and I cut out the inside for airflow. I want to cut that tree like a champagne goblet. You see how that goes up like that? And everything in the middle, I want to cut out. I want all my branches to be on the outside. And that ain't even what she asked. She said, when do in the fall? When you <laughs> <In> the- <laughs> <laughs> just prune your Yeah, I prune them late fall, okay? Almost into winter, but late fall after they're definitely sleep. Okay. But I'm the opposite. I don't I don't really like to I, I know people believe in the open center concept. I just let mine do what they would do in nature, pretty much. And we, another thing is, I'm looking for privacy too, though. You know, ah. I'm in the suburbs, so I want my trees to touch and to block out my neighbors. Okay. Ah, that's that's, that's, a, that's a good point, Kale. It depends on what you're growing your trees for. Exactly. Okay. You know, I want them. To, I want them to feed me. I want them to feed my family, and even my neighbors. If they hang on the fence, that's their fruit. They can have it. That's okay? theirs. But I I don't really do the open center concept because of that. Um, and this, we're still getting the same results. It all depends on how high you want your tree to go up. And yes, it does expose it to more sunlight and things like that. But, and the fruit may get a little bit bigger than that. But, um, it, I, I just let it do what it do most of the time. What, what I'm doing is the lower branches when I'm pruning. And never my citrus. I don't ever prune citrus. Don't be scared if your citrus trees lose 100% of the leaves. Unless it's dead, because they're coming back. Coming back? they definitely coming back. Now, and, and when you ask, when you ask questions like that, please understand why people do things. Calvin just said that he wanted trees to grow big for privacy. I, I don't want, I stay in the country. We ain't got, it's just land out here. So when I prune mine, I just prune it for airflow and more fruit. That's all I want. More fruit. 
Now, canvas is a different thing. So it, it's all in what you want to do with your tree. And something else I'm going to tell you, if you never want to prune your fruit trees, do that. See how it works. Yeah. Um, I feel like we, we listen to people so much. And we don't live at your house and we've never seen your backyard that we give you our idea for what we want to accomplish. And now that becomes your thing for accomplishing. That's, that shouldn't be how it works. Everybody do your own thing. And if it don't work out, try something different. Try something different. Yep. It's your garden. It's yours. Make it your own. Yours. Yeah. Precious SoCal Garden in the middle. What's up, Precious? Glad to have you in here. Say, all my trees are now in the ground. That's Fun fact, Cal, I had all these guys doing figs in the darn greenhouse last year. Look here, man. <laughs> I had a Celeste. I had a brown turkey. Now, in Georgia, Celeste and brown turkey, those are Georgia figs. Yeah. Please understand, those are Georgia figs. Why do I have them in there? At the worst, they're going to die back some and grow up. That's the worst. The worst. Them figs ain't going nowhere once they're in the ground. No. If you don't believe me, Go over to Odom's homestead and look at the, I call him the fig king. Odom is surgical with the fig trees out Yeah, he got every variety out there. And yeah. if somebody, if uh, a moderator would be so kind, could y'all put Odom homestead channel in the chat? I mean, I really appreciate it. I, I don't want to put too much pressure on y'all. Y'all do a wonderful job. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, LP Garden in the building. What's up, LP? Well, now, it's... Uh, sorry for see, sorry for time pressure. It ain't nothing but love over here. You know, Nikki didn't mean that. Say sorry for time you got early fat fingers. Your fingers ain't fat, Nick. Your <laughs> fingers are okay with us. They are not fat. Uh, so precious. Uh, so Cal says she pruned in the fall. Yeah. Uh, now this is who we should have asked this question to. <laughs> yeah. He owns a nurse. Say I prune my trees all the time. I tip them to shape them. And and he gave you a lot of information and game, just like me and Calvin was saying. We had different reasons why we prune and how we prune. But he said, I tip them to shape them. Now, if you're a nursery, you want your trees to look as pretty and as yeah. healthy as possible. So he tipping those trees so it gives them a shape and a look to them. Yes. He's a nursery. He don't want, look here, man. If I went to his nursery and he had all the middle cut out of his tree, here, brother, I'm not buying that tree. <laughs> no. I'm not buying that tree. So it, it makes a difference on why you prune it and how you prune it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just got three different ways right there. Yeah. Um, David Core said it takes the raw leaf cherry tree and the leopard cherry tree. What? I guess they were saying, what's the best uh, tree to grow, uh, cherry tree to grow in the cold? Kevin, you got a cherry tree too, though. I just got a Barbados. That's it. I've got a uh, raw crimson cherry, and I have a Stella cherry. And I don't, don't think you to get fruit off that Stella, though. Probably five years. It's, probably, it's four feet now, but it's so hard to grow a sweet cherry in a hot climate you know what i mean yeah yeah so i got to be patient i got to find uh, um i had to find a stella i mean a cherry tree that had low chill hours chill hours are a problem down here where we live at it's a problem anything that need more than 500 chill hours and you don't get it <laughs> it's a toss-up it's a toss-up yeah. it's got to be a cold 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 winter for us to get them chill hours in and if you don't know what chill hours are chill hours are defined as anything from 40 um low 45 45 degrees low 45 uh but it can't go too low to 32 i think yeah 32 to 45 and how many hours a year you get that it's it's like cold stratification when it comes to onions or garlic your onions and garlic got to go through, through a cold stratification period. Some people put them in the refrigerator and things of that nature, but it's got to get some cold before you get fruit. 
that's what chill hours are. Uh, Francis Bishop side. Frank, Francis Bishop in the building. What's up, friend? I'm sorry, friend. I saw you earlier. Say, uh, sidekick friend. Hey, everyone. Friend, we know who you, friend, we know who you are. Welcome uh, in, friend. I got to meet uh, this beautiful young lady uh, at the Saw Family Expo. Her and Uncle Bam, uh, really cool people, man. Hey, if you ain't met, I went over to check check out uh, Bam with Arthur Butler. Go check him out. He is your uncle. Yeah. He is everybody uncle. Bam and good people. Good people. Sherry Brown in the building. Say, hey, broken chat. Broke, you are so funny interviewing the sweet potato leaf in the review know. of the sprinkler. Man, first off. I said, you ain't break out the mic. Man, he had the mic in there. I put the mic in it. I, that's an interview. Because in one thing, look, God, this, this is where the confusion start. Everybody want our opinion. That, that, that water ain't spraying on this cam. That's right. So how I can tell you how good the sprinkler is? <laughs> so I asked the plant. The plant is what's getting the water. The plant is benefiting. That's who you need to get your, your interview from. That's right. <laughs> so this I, I holler at the sweet potato. I, I holler at the sweet potato. Let, let me know how is the sprinkle system working out for you? Is it what you expected? Good. Is, 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 is it doing well for you? Yeah, stop, stop <laughs> interviewing the people about the sprinkler system. You are not sprinkling yourself. That's right. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. They think I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. Uh, I got one more. Uh, guess YouTube. Oh, can you put your funny guest YouTube channel again? It is so good. Cam, Cam, are you my, put, uh, can you put something in the chat? I'm not it. I'm not on it. I'm just oh yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, here you go, right here. So good, garden. Uh, G Mama Grove put it in right after you said that. Thank you, G Mama. Um, uh, okay. Growing together, nursery said the cherry of the Rio Grande can solve that one. I'm hoping to taste one next year. And I think he's talking about the uh chill hour. Let me write that down. Rio Grande cherry. Hey, I might be looking for another fruit tree. <laughs> hey, David Kors had big facts on chill hours and Texas don't need that much. Nope. Right. All right. I got one. Let me see. Man, I'm staying at the bottom. Okay. Is he doing Brandon, good? Brampton Gardner in the building. What's up, Brampton Gardner? Glad to have you in here. Um... Uh, all right. Now the last thing up here is once you start to get burnt out, go four hours without eating, and then focus on the food. Focus on the food. We get so far away from oh man, I'm tired of these plants, and I'm tired of harvest, I'm tired of watering, I'm tired of fertilizer. But focus on the plant. And the fact that you eat off that plant. We garden for so many reasons. We garden for therapy. We garden for exercise. We garden for YouTube channel. But once you focus on the fact that this garden provides food, that burnout will turn around. When, go four hours and don't eat nothing. And let your stomach tickle your, uh, your backbone. And see if that burnout go away. It will. <laughs> yes, sir. It, it definitely let it, will. Let it tickle your backbone for a little <laughs> while. And, and you get that uh that hunger poop. I'm gonna say it in a nice way. That hunger yeah. poop. <laughs> <laughs> that gas get the rubbing around in your stomach. That, that, that hunger poop hit different. Yeah, it that's all I'm saying. And then yeah. that guard burn out. Oh, it's gonna go away. It's definitely going away, Taylor. <laughs> no, nobody worried about burnout when you gotta eat. Yeah, that's right. Dog X in the building said, uh David Cole, look, Cal, let's look at somebody else, man. David Cole with crop. I'm getting a laughing chair next 
chair next. Our Stella chair is old. You will produce a lot of chair this year. She went on vacation. Hopefully back next year. My, I have not got a, a chair off my Stella chair. Probably one year old. Thorns crawl. I mean, fingers crawl. Sweet thorn is supposed to be the closest to a real sweet chair, but can be grown down south. Now, I I got the Stella chair because it's supposed to be able to grow here. And the uh, Crimson Sweet chair is supposed to grow here. So I got them. Eh, we'll see how it go. Yeah. Let's see how it go. Either way, it, it, it's pretty either way. And if it get big enough, it'll be some shade. Now, look, that's all we got. But, okay, I guess what that means. Wait. They've caught with crops that even if, if you don't eat vegetables, if your stomach hits your backbone, you will eat any, anything. Yes, sir. Not, any, not anything. Anything. Bang. 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 That means that green grass out there, you mm -hmm. know how the people in California do the uh, grass smoothers and all this stuff? Yeah, they can have that. No, oh, yeah, they can have that though. Yeah, but yeah. I'm saying, if I got um hungry enough, oh, I'm eating smoothies. So oh. look here. <laughs> now, Cal, we almost an hour and a half in. You know what time it is, right, sir? Yes, sir. Time to bring them up. Bring them out, bring them out. <laughs> it's hard to yell when the barrel is in your, your mouth. mouth. What's it? <laughs> <laughs> This is the one minute promo. <laughs> now this chat has 87 people in it. Look, look at me. Hercules, Hercules. Oh, it has 87 me. people in it. If you want somebody to connect to your YouTube channel, come up here and tell them about your YouTube channel. That's all you gotta do. We, we're, gonna, we're gonna time you. One minute and promote your channel. A lot of people say to get to going on YouTube, you need Somebody to help you out. You do. Well, you got broke for them. I'm gonna help you out. Mm -hmm. Come up here and let people know this is what I do on my channel. Now, I'm gonna give you a couple rules about this. When you go to somebody's channel, before you watch the video, hit the like button. That's before you watch the video all the way through. Don't skip people's video. That's the first time you're watching somebody's video. You're gonna skip through it. You got to get their vibe, their personality to understand. It's not always about what they're growing and what they're doing. It's the vibe. You know what I mean? I'm subscribed to a lot of people because I love their vibe. I love so so uh, good gardener. So good garden vibe. A cool guy. I don't care if he didn't grow nothing. If he just went out there and talked about that bed all day. Cool guy. Sometimes it's just your vibe, but I'm, I'm getting off track. So you watch the whole video and you leave a comment. If you think, man, this ain't really for me, because everybody's YouTube channel ain't for everybody. If everybody was for my YouTube channel, I have a million subscribers. Mm -hmm. Everybody is not for you. So you leave a comment and you, your hands are washed. You're done with it. You ain't got to worry about that no more. But if you do like it, subscribe. And now you just you just find a whole another channel. That make you feel good inside, warm and fuzzy. So, come up, uh, people. I definitely want to come up right off the bat. Whole new perspective. Dave Corey, come talk about your channel. Uh, and who else ever who want to talk about it? Uh, who? Wait, wait, wait. I miss somebody. Uh, who is that? So blessed, blessed in the building. Glad to have you here. So blessed. Bless. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drop the uh I'm gonna drop the link and uh I'm gonna talk about the channel. How, did I say something wrong, Cam? You didn't. Bring them up. Let's go. Let's Bring get them. it out there. I would say let's go. Let's go. Y'all promote yourself. And stop saying you know I can't get ahead in the YouTube game because you know I ain't nobody. You know I can't get traffic over to my channel. There's 91 people in here. You. You can catch 91 subscribers potentially right. in one minute. Yep. Now, who got a better offer than that? Please don't say, talk about your channel not growing. And you don't, you don't come in on opportunities like this. It's an opportunity like anybody else. Come on up and let's talk about it. Let's go. It's just that easy. It's you already dropped easy. the link. So who's the first one? Let's go, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, look. We, 
man, Calvin got people coming over, man. Yeah. We got we got 15 more minutes <laughs> max. 15 minutes max. <laughs> and if you know somebody with a YouTube channel and they ain't in the chat, text them. Now you can't talk about their channel if they ain't in here, man. Yeah. You don't do that over there. It don't work like that. But if you know them, text them and tell them come get in the chat. This is free promo. Now, Kev, we don't say it all this. I'm looking at the bottom. Nobody there. Nobody there. Everybody. Nobody want to talk about each channel. Nobody. Now, come whole man. whole new perspective. Say, okay, let me get get to a different spot. Says my husband watching games. We don't care about it. We, we watching we games. Watch, too. We watching games. The game right there. I just watched the family win. The whole time we talking, I'm watching the family. Hey, <laughs> I just watched them win. The game on right now. Chicago. Uh, go on with Dunn and say, get up here. Don't be shy. Dunny, you get up here. Right. Come on, Dunn. Come on, Dunn. Uh, Sweet Storm say, no cam. I would come up. Okay. Tamiko say, what size pot? For what? For what? Oh, now I got to go back up, Cam. Now I got to go back up. I feel like I missed something. Uh, All right. Uh, I didn't miss nothing. I don't know, Tamiko D, what's up? Okay. Uh, Queen of Plants Garden said, thank you two gentlemen for this live. It is absolutely excellent. All right. Look, Appreciate hey, you. Everybody in here who has a YouTube channel and has uploaded content within the last month, put a one in the chat. There you go. <laughs> yeah, maybe people just ain't dressed. They, they you know. Oh, no, we got one, okay? Oh, okay. Come on, y'all. We got one. Now, she ain't from she ain't from the south. She ain't from the south. She from California, a okay. California, a must be precious. So, Cal, yeah, <laughs> I give you for your viewing pleasure and enjoyment, precious. Hey. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually sitting in my office working. I was watching you on my phone and my TV, and I was like, oh, let me I'm on, I'm on the work computer. <laughs> I, I had to like do a whole sign in. I was like, oh no, they're gonna cut off before now, I even get in there. So what we're gonna do, Princess SoCal, this is all about you. We me and Calvin gonna go go down. Yeah, this this Maybe. platform is for you. We want you to tell us about your channel. What makes your channel so different from everybody else? And the cool thing people can expect to see when they come over to your channel. Well, you can expect to see me talking about my wacky chickens. <laughs> they, I have four of them, and they are eighteen weeks. What right now? Um, I'm doing too much. I'm sorry. They don't have. Yeah. Too much. They don't have. I call them um, Curly Larry Mo, and what's, huh. that, and what's that? What's the other one? Shimp. 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 Yeah. Shimp. Shimp. Yeah. <laughs> I call them because they are wacky. I just did a um, I called the chicken shenanigans video Ooh. because I put out some food, and one of the chickens will grab the food, and instead of the other ones getting food, they all fight over the one little strawberry. So they they got mm. some shenanigans going on. And of course, my garden and I do recalls. So I try to once every couple of weeks do recalls on um, on food. And usually those videos will last like 30 to 45 minutes because we need to know what's going on. You know, they're they're doing so much to our food. A lot of our food is not processed by hands. It's processed through machines. Mm. Oil, all kind of stuff is happening. People are not washing their hands. Mm. One recall I did, I think it was last week or the week before, and some lettuce had deer feces on it. Come on, man. So, yeah, it was a recall nationwide on some lettuce that had um, feces on it, which is weird. And I just did a video this morning about um, fertilizing my garden, and then I seen the green hornworm, so I took the neem oil and sprayed the... Um, the um, neem oil on everything, so I have a lot of different things going on um, about my about my channel, and I uh, usually try to make a video at least once a week. Um, usually, the recall videos are long, 
but in general, I try not to go over 10 minutes because I know sometimes yeah. people's um, attention span, you know, they'll be like, oh, she's just going on and on and on. So I've learned how to cut my videos down um, shorter and do a lot more shorts. Now, Kaya, you didn't yeah. even, uh, did you turn the clock on? No. No, no you didn't. Don't even worry about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and precious so okay a uh, cool thing about your channel you are based out of california it's a lot of people in our garden community that are based out of california she's a she gives you another version of how to garden in california which is super important so i know in our community man it's a bunch of people from california yeah. go over to precious so Cal garden and see another way of doing it I'm, she's not telling you everything she's doing is perfect. That's not what she's saying. She says it's, it's nowhere near perfect. It's but, all I'm like, just put it in the ground. Let's see what happens. I got it's, pineapples. It's, I got bananas. <laughs> it's an, it's another way to do business. It is. It's another way to do business. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, Precious? Are you in a hurry? No. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up one of the greatest gardeners. Now this this young man here. Takes the cake when it comes to gardening. Can't nobody out garden this young fella him. He, he go hard in the paint when it comes to garden. I give to you, those people who don't know, Mr. David Corey with the with crop. <laughs> Sir, where, you? where did Sir. he go? <laughs> hey, what are we looking at here, David? Hold on now. Hold on. Wait, wait a minute. Oh. Hey. You couldn't, huh? you couldn't have been talking oh. about me when you was talking like that. The great Dave Cole. Where's your mustache at, Dave? Hey, I got rid of everything. <laughs> right, he done shaved it all off. Look like a new man. Boy, oh, you like you, Dave Cole, like you got a job interview tomorrow. <laughs> right. Where you going, David? <laughs> what up, cropper? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, fellas. I'm getting, too, I'm getting a little older, man. And I'm like, man, let me... Yeah. I ain't gonna put no dye on. I heard y'all talking about that dye early. I'll be doggone if I walk around here to jet black and be 55 years old. I'm jet black. I ain't gonna get no just for, just for me or uh, have that. Just uh, no for sir. me. Hey, I told no you. No, sir. So I'm cat, Chris. What'd you say? You kind of went out there. I was just saying, how you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I see you in all the chats all, all right. the time. <laughs> Every live I go on, I see you. And this, this is, and this is what the community about. David Core with Crop is a heavy, heavy community supporter. And what he do is, if you over there, you doing good things in the garden and hood. Then David Core over there too. That's what he do. Yep. So, uh, and I see you down in the base in the uh, green room. Hey, I see you. Wait, don't go nowhere. You don't go nowhere. Okay. One of my favorite people on YouTube. Oh, she, oh, you let, oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> okay, I see. I, and look, I see the other one in there, too. So hold on. I want to give David one minute. And don't leave out your, uh, your live, David. But one minute, David Coy with the crop. Tell him about yourself, sir. Hey, the people want to know about like, you, David. I just like growing. I love having fun. Y'all know that. And don't take nothing I say serious. I just be joking, okay? The crop. Until you get in the way, but I love gardening for real. I love gardening and I love art as well. So, what? one of these days, I'm gonna do an art channel. Uh, you know, what? art channel, do something on my channel about art. So, tune in. But I got a live coming up, probably. I'll probably do a live Tuesday. I'm, I'm gonna do it. So, look forward to that. David Corey required. Hey. And I'm out. And, and first off, please understand, David Core is in Texas. A lot of Texas people in the <laughs> chat. Uh, look, I, I knew uh, Bro K. I got to talk about them cowboys. <laughs> but look, and uh, uh, hey, I, I hate to say, say, hey, hey, bro. Excuse me, one second. I hate to say this, man. But I got to address this, man. Go Giants! Oh Lord, ooh, ooh, David. Ooh. <laughs> Come on, Ooh. man! But well, folks finna start unsubscribing. I, hey, man, oh, oh. I'm, I'm talking about with a, I, hey man, I'm talking about with a passion. 
I do not oh. like that team, man. I feel oh what God. broke is saying. See, I, I came up a, I came up a nine, but uh, because I don't rock with it no more, nine is still what I roll with. Even though I know, like I tell you to, this year, I believe that Philly and Baltimore are going to the championship. I was saying that before the season even started. You see? So I just believe in something else now. But uh, uh I don't care what I believe in on the true side of it. I'll never like them characters. <laughs> never. I still like it. I still like it, though, David. Now, uh, now, cool thing also is with all the Texas people in the chat, it gives another perspective on growing in, in your area. And that's the cool thing about our gardening community. I can I can uh connect with a lot of people that's in Georgia and learn different ways to do things. Now, please understand, when I say the word connect, please understand my version of connect. Connect don't mean I'm going to watch your videos. If you watch mine, we connect that I subscribe, you, you subscribe to me. I do not believe in that. I do not believe in that. I watch a bunch of people telling this not subscribe to me, and it don't matter. Whether you comment and watch my videos has no bearing on whether I watch your videos or not. Zero bearing. If I like your content, I like your content. You don't have to watch my video. I'm out here talking to God on no, sweet potato plants. I don't expect you everybody to watch that. But I'm gonna watch and form the stuff like canon and stuff like my friend is about to come up here. Stuff that I don't do that I need to learn that that skill of knowledge, crafting and stuff like that. I need to know the stuff. So I'm watching that. I don't expect them to watch my crazy video, but I, I'm going to watch you because I either like your vibe or what you're doing and I'm trying to learn from you. That's it. So connect don't mean come watch my channel and I'm going to watch your channel. You don't watch my videos. I'm not going to watch your video. We don't do that over here. It, it, that is not how that works. It's a cool vibe and we watch people to be informed on things. That's it. Okay. Very now. Good. I'm finna bring up my people in the green. Look, one of them already. Dude, you ain't been down over two minutes. I see you down there being me. <laughs> and, and the one on the left, no, I ain't talking to you. She know who I'm talking to. Let me holler at that person. Uh, experience says it. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Just because bro, love watching your content. Look, man, I appreciate it. You know, as a content creator, we don't always get the love. We we think we deserve. A lot of people criticize everything we do. So when people uh, do things like give you a super chat or just say, hey, man, I really appreciate your content. That goes a long way of validating the things that we do, the time and effort we put into to, uh, editing and things of that nature. So appreciate your experience with Sass. It really means a lot. I don't think people, only content creators really know. For real. Yes, sir. I see you fine, sir. <laughs> um, I see you fine. That, that little donation that was just given. Can you that look, uh, make sure? Right, one look. Well, don't put no, one on no, there. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't mean it like that. I don't mean it like yeah. that. I'm just saying, that little donation that we just got, I mean, that you just got, can you make sure that uh, Google add the one, two, three, four of us in here? <laughs> now, 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 you know what, David? That's a good point. Mr. Crawford, this is him. First off, it'll be no sharing of the super chat. Let, let's go out there. So everybody that's on this live right now, please understand that you get zero percentage of all. <laughs> of all now look now, bro, Cal, we're gonna break bro, Cal off something at the end of the month. But everybody else, now y'all, y'all be taking PTO days. I don't see y'all all the time, so I can't really break bread with y'all like that. So yeah, please understand you get no money. Hey, but hey, <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. Now, what gonna, no, it, no, it's no harm asking. I, I feel you. I would ask him. But look, who I'm bringing up to you is the Cannon Queen. Somebody I met in person, one of the coolest people down the earth, <laughs> smartest, funniest people you ever want to meet in your life. I give you for your viewing pleasure and understanding. She going to tell you why her channel is one of the greatest channels on YouTube, one of the most underrated youtubers on the planet i give you whole new perspective <laughs> hello 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 bro hello hello, hello. 
else? What's Hello. Hello, everyone in the chat. I had to come outside, so I hope you all can hear me. Yes, we can hear you fine. Good, good, good. You know, I love meeting you, Broke. It was such a wonderful experience. I think that's the one thing is to be able to meet people in person. And sometimes they're just not what you think they are, right? And wait, wait, wait. Look, now, now look um, before we go any deeper, now I've talked to a couple of people. I think me and David Core have, have had this conversation. I told David, I said, the first time I met a whole new perspective, I've been watching her channel. I'm subscribed to her channel. I've been watching her channel. She is so proper and, and well spoken. I'm like, there's no way me and this person can be cool. There's no way. No way. I'm crazy. I'm down there with no got no shoes on. But mm. you know what? We had a conversation, me, her, Pescatarian Gardener, and Sherla OG. She is one of the coolest people on the planet. <laughs> and she she knows how to let her hair down and interact no matter who you are on this planet. So shouts out to you. And when people ask about you, I will always tell them that story. So, all right, go away. I, I, I had to tell them that. Thank you. I enjoy doing so many different things. You know that. I am a container gardener. I just garden on my on my deck for the most part. I try to garden in the ground. But, guys, I have so many critters. You know, those things, don't they don't play. I did find a way to keep deer away when I was really gardening back in on the ground. But now I have so many other critters that it's just it's very difficult. So I also spend a lot of time canning. I love to can. And you, if you're looking at my channel now, you will see a lot of preserving videos because I, I really enjoy that. Got to be able to put that food away. You know, right. it's a food security. Food right. security. <laughs> and it's a part of preparedness for me. You know, I think sometimes prepping gets a bad name, but I grew up, I told you all, most of you that know me, my parents had eight kids and they were what would be considered today as preppers because we didn't go hungry. You know, my parents had a huge garden and we gardened, we went, we, we purchased food. We also did a lot of foraging. We did a lot. And uh, that was part of preparedness for us. You know, we knew what to do when it, when there was snow and we couldn't drive or food, you know, snow on the ground. Uh, we knew how to do a lot of things. We had our own well. So it was just uh, didn't have a bathroom, indoor bathroom. So I know how to do a lot of things. Had to yeah. out of, <laughs> we had to learn how to do a lot of things. You guys had an outhouse? Say that again. You guys had an outhouse? Well, my grandparents had an outhouse. Now, whenever my parents moved our home to build a new home. And so we did not have an outhouse. We had, we had a bucket is what we had. Wow. So, we to, so I know how to do that. No issues <laughs> there with me. <laughs> so, 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 so you couldn't sit on the bucket, right? You couldn't rest on the bucket, right? Well, the bucket had a, a seat on it. So there are okay. a lot of buckets out there now that have the toilet seats on there. That yeah. They didn't have it then. You had to create your own, you know. So resourcefulness is a huge part of that as well. So that's what we had. And you had to know how to go out and bury that, you know. And so that's what we did. Now, my parents, my grandparents did have the outhouse, though. And, and something how do you, else. How, how do you? <coughs> no, I was just going to say another thing that she does on the channel. She does smart and long term thinking when it comes to shopping. I, I, I think that's I, I, somebody like me. I, I'm amazed at the long term plan when she's shopping and how she when she. Pull things out of the grocery bags and say, hey. Whoa. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, sorry, we did. All right. Who well, no, how, how she pulls things out of the bag and she says, look, this is what I'm going to do with this. This is what I'm going to do with this. This is what I'm going to do with that. It's long term thing when it comes to grocery shopping. And I didn't even know that was a thing. I just knew. I buy a bunch of uh, zebra cakes and uh, waffles, and when they run out, I go get some more. But long-term thinking when it comes to shopping is a thing that a lot of people don't utilize, but I learned it on her channel. Go over and check out Whole New Perspective. You And the whole purpose of that name is a whole new perspective on how you want to do business and how you live life. So y'all go over there and check her out. Really cool channel. And what day is your live? Monday, Monday nights at eight o'clock. What, what, what time Monday. zone? Yes. What time zone? Eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. 
Okay, so that's probably around. I'll probably be getting off of by six, probably maybe three hours. So probably like five right. o'clock here. So I'll probably catch you when I'm in the car. Now, um, cool thing, you probably check you got see you got broke farm. I broke farm over there hanging out because the cool channel, a lot of good information. Even if you don't garden or you don't prep, there's nothing wrong with having good information because you never know when that information will be vital to you. So shout out the whole new perspective. Appreciate you coming up here and appreciate all the th cool things you're doing on your channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for the opportunity. No, thank you. <laughs> all right. Now, bringing up to you, I give to you um, an artful person, somebody who is really passionate about her art form. I give you for your viewer pleasure, P-I-A. Broke. I'm gonna go ahead and go down. Oh yeah, I got. I still got the free version. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, hold on for Spado. I catch you next time. Okay. Thanks. Take care. All right. Take care. Now I. There you go. I get. There you go. She got. There hello, you hello, go. hello. Hey. hey. Hi. How you doing? Hello, panel. I'm well in yourself. I'm great. I'm great. Thank you for What's having up? me up here. What's How's up, David Cropper? Oh, and uh, if y'all didn't know, um, shout out to G Mama Grows Hard in the Garden. Go check out G Mama Grows Hard in the Garden. She is an excellent gardener and been doing the thing in the YouTube streets. But uh, she is dropping people channels uh, link yeah, as they come up. Awesome moderator. So she is dropping y'all link as y'all come up here. Everybody, and she's so. going live at seven. She's going on someone's live at seven. She told us, I, I forget whose live she's going on, but it's seven o'clock Eastern time Garden. today. CFG. Garden State Garden. Oh, no, we look, he, he ain't yeah, she should. No, no well, yeah. she is okay, okay, okay. Yo, now, now we can go over there and check out G Mama <sighs> Gold, but we don't get our free promo to that to people who ain't in the chat. So I understand. Bad, you know? Now, who's the young lady in the middle? I can't read. Oh, it's too I'm small. Hi. Hi, Precious SoCal Gartner. Just Precious, how are you? Good. All right. Good. Pleased to meet you. I'm good. I'm good. So, my name is Tracy, and um, <laughs> my channel is passionate. What you laughing at? No, how you, look, how, you, look, how you just sitting there like, like you just, look, I'm, I'm going to set up a scenario <laughs> for you. Precious, look. It's, it's like, um, she dating somebody on this panel, right? And she comes to their house. Wait, wait, wait to see their boyfriend. And you sitting there, and she said, hey, who was you? Who was you? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I did it. Like, who was you? <laughs> oh, wow. No, that is not the case. I didn't. I, I couldn't see her name, and I know I didn't know her. So I just wanted to introduce myself. What? Hey. Hey. So good. Hello, so good. Hello, what you Hello. said? So good. Who is the boyfriend that she said them between? Precious, I ain't even like that. Don't don't, don't listen to nothing. Nothing that one says or that one says. Okay. <laughs> hey, uh, before you go, um, let me ask a question real quick. Uh, Tamiko D said. Do you do y'all think it's too late to plant a watermelon out in the garden? Yes. Yes. It's too late. Okay. Yes. You don't have enough time. Yeah. So PI okay. it takes yeah. seventy two hundred days and you need a, a, a couple to a few months, so that'll be one a time. Oh, yeah. So it won't go up. Yeah. It ain't right. Work. If it was already up, if it was already up and already had a long vine, then maybe you'll have a chance. It might not be that sweet, but you'll have a chance. Maybe if you was in grow zone 10, 11, or 12, maybe, but I'm in 9B and it's it'll be too late. You have to live okay. somewhere like Costa Rica or something where it's mm -hmm. like tropical all the time. I don't even think I'm going to get a watermelon. I got vines about yay long and flowers. You got one by the priest garden, didn't you? What's that? What'd you say? What'd you say? Didn't you? I said, didn't you get one out of Chris Garden the other day you stole? 
You shut your mouth up. I ain't stole nothing. No. <laughs> no. I was at the community garden and David said I was stealing stuff. It's a community garden. You get to pick what you want. Really? Is it? Is yeah. It, is I, did it, a, I did a live. But I mean, it was it, nice. Bro, bro, you my dog. It, it was really you nice. Know you know how we roll. Everything at the garden, though? Bro, you know how yes. we roll. Bro, you know how we roll. They had so much she stuff. Whatever. You you tell them lies, she David. Lie. And she said she was just going for some peppers. That's all I wanted to get, but I, bro, you know, go back I, I had my bag. Video, go back and look I got, at the video. I got beets. I got jalapeno oh. peppers. I got, uh, what? She Green got peppers. I got squash. squash. Um, I thought you said you just going for peppers. <laughs> I was just going for peppers, but you know, I turned what? the live on. I was showing y'all everything, and all it, of a sudden, it, she needed all that. Yeah, I'm about oh. to cut that stuff up too. I cooked the beets. I just got through eating the beets. I cooked the beets. Um, yeah, I ate the tomatoes. Um, and I'm ooh beets. What do you mean? Oh, they were so good, so good. They were so good. Yes, but anyway, I am passionately intrigued. Arts, Tracy. I have a crafting channel. I do all types of crafts. I paint. I do mixed media, um, resin oh, pours. Oh, oh, oh. What's, um, mixed What's mixed media? Mixed media are uh, applying different things to art, uh, different medias. Oh. Like, like, like I do a picture and I use uh, hair to put on it, you know, actual store-bought hair, or you could just add stuff to your, your media. You add extra stuff to it. Um, I do. Man? Excuse me. Do you have a cameraman? No, that's this new 360 uh, uh, tripod thing that I have. Oh, okay, it follows you. Okay. I'm so sorry. it moves and it follows me. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, and so I do that. I do tumblers. I do apparel. Um, I try to create items for men because they are left out. Quite often, we do a lot of uh, crafting and, and things for females. I do things for children. I do um, gifts for all ages, all genders, and all occasions, and all seasons. So here lately, or I incorporate things for the men. I try to, um, so that when I have pop-up shops that it's just not all, you know, just friendly to females. There's things that men can purchase, too, for themselves. Um, things for their 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 cave, you know, their man cave or a tire, you know. Um, I do a lot of things with cigar bands. And I do a little prepping. I'm starting to learn a little prepping and a little canning. I'm just getting into it, so I don't know a lot. Um, I bake, cook. I'm sorry. Go ahead. And garden. Yes, I'm a, I'm a beginning, beginning gardener. I'm a newbie to this, and I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I got my, I got my meter. I got my meter. Got you. Yeah, you. I got it. Moisture yes. meter. Yes. Moisture meter. Yeah. So I'm just loving this journey, and I'm loving the people that I meet. And like, like you said, bro, I, I, it's, it's a vibe. You know, everybody's not for everybody. So you, you, right. you, you don't do tit for tat. You know, you subscribe to me, I subscribe to you. It don't work like that. You know, you go in, you see if you like it, you see if you enjoy it. You know, you definitely hit that like button. You can come back if you choose to, you know, if this is your vibe and this is what you like. And uh, there's a lot of people out here in this community to vibe with. A lot of real down to earth good people. Yeah. I, um, couple of, I like to add on because I, what is that? I, I like to add on. And is that so good, Gardner, making all that noise back there? Uh uh. He, he, he. <laughs> oh, okay. I was oh. wondering, I was wondering, was that me, SoCal? Somebody is clicking, and you're right. I thought that was me, but I'm muted. And uh, what do you hear? No, it's I not. It's, 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 it's some scratching, I, like it's some scratching, like. But I you barely, you don't, you barely even hear it. But okay. uh, passion. Do you need somebody yeah. to? You need a working. I can work for you. <laughs> no, not for free. No, David. I I already uh holiday uh passion and tree also. I'm a personal garden coach <laughs> right now. Uh. The meter is to measure the soil. The moisture? The, the soil. Moisture the dryness. It says three-way soil meter. 
So I don't know what the three ways are. I can't read it. But uh, it's too dark in here. David, have you ever had a soil meter? You ever use one? That's not your thing. Nah, I just put my yeah. finger in the, in the soil. Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say. A lot of us uh, that have been gardening for a while, we stick our finger in the soil. If we pull it out and it's got soil on there, then it's, it's moist. If nothing's on our finger, then it's dry. But if you were... If you're a new gardener, get you a, a soil meter. They eight dollars at Lowe's, and it tells you it right off the bat within thirty seconds whether your soil is dry or not. Easy way to okay. do it: to make sure you're not overwatering. I don't believe in the p uh, the pH. I mean the pH reading of your soil. I don't believe that. Yeah. Can read the pH. I don't believe that. Okay. So let's say my soil is medium. So it's like but. It's right in the middle, so I guess it's not dry and it's not wet. Oh, you Gucci. I just I just stuck it in a plant. That's good. Okay. That's good. Good. Don't mess with me. Now, if it say okay. wet, go two days without water. If it say dry, water it till it come out the bottom. I saw your last video. You understand the concept of letting it come out the bottom. I already know that. Yeah. Uh, well, I said, okay. Okay. When you stuck oh, that's that off in the What? What? What you say? I see how you light up when you see when you stuck that up in there. I see how you lit up. Pause. I get I get excited. Yeah, whatever. I get excited with this stuff. I do. Pause. So that's so Pause. Pause. Hella pause. Hella pause. Hello. Hello. So that's a little over. That's a little over. It's past medium, so we can't see. I don't need no more water for a while. Okay. What? Look at it. Oh, 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 oh. now. It's, it's dark. too dark. I don't know if you can say that. Yeah, it's no, dark. But no, a moisture meter for a newer gardener is a perfect tool. Keep because of first I love it. I've been gardening. I'm a new gardener. Let's start there. I'm a new gardener. I've been gardening on uh three years in September 6th. So I'm an overwater. I, I water plants if they look dry. That is my yeah. that is my crutch. That's that's what I do. So that moisture meter helps a lot. Um, I tried to pick a lock on my greenhouse and I broke mine. So that's neither here nor there. But it is a good tool. They sell them at Lowe's, Home Depot. What you, how much you pay for yours? I got it from Amazon and it was like uh, seven ninety nine, I think, or eight ninety nine. Seven ninety nine, eight dollars. Save yep. you a thirty dollars. Yep. Did you say you? Did you say you tried to pick a lock? Yeah, I try. What I, are you talking? Oh, I hope oh. we're just gonna roll right past that. But I see you. Pick David, don't miss a beat. David, don't Not miss a beat. You know that. So it does say pH and light. So it reads light. I don't know what all that is. Don't, don't worry about it. Just, just yeah, just need it for the moisture. Okay. That's it. Now, what? Uh, we're cool. about to shut down. We've been in here exactly two hours. Calvin got people coming over. I got I to gotta check my fantasy football score. So Cal got to worry about whatever go on in California. David <laughs> Corey got to protect the word from all the heat and the dry uh, cracking the ground. It's, it's a lot going on right now. It's, it's about to rain on. all this week, though, baby. I ain't got it's to do It's been raining nothing. today out here. It's been raining. Now, oh, we're getting a little rain today, too. So right? where are you, Precious? I and am. It, and it's a good time to. I'm oh, sorry, Riverside County, California. So don't I'm tell them everything. California. Oh, yeah, they're gonna come straight to your house. God, no. I will not be coming yeah. to your house. Shut up, yeah, bro. Tell them everything. I feel, okay. I feel the county, so I'm in. So they can come if they want to. The mountain in the deserts. I mean, like a, a oh wow, called the pass in the mountain. So we get snow, and we get yeah, we get everything. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's a good wow. question. Go around on the chat and tell us how long you've been gardening. Um, 2019. So four, four. years for me. Crocker. Okay. Well, I've been growing since 2015. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I said 2015. I've been growing since 2019. Right before 2018. Pandemic. It was right before that. Yeah, it was okay. right before that. I was growing since 2018. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm a beginner. I just started. I I, I I had a garden maybe 30 years ago um, when my oldest son, he's 36, when he was young. Wow. And uh, yeah. I so I, well, that's okay. It's, it's all good. Um, but that's I haven't, 
I haven't done it since then. So I'm I'm a beginner gardener and I just started this summer. So hope to do a lot better next next season and I plan on do some container gardening in the house if I can stand the nets or get rid of the nets for the winter. Hey, so so good gardening. I know you entertain the cover real quick. Can you jump in and tell how long you've been gardening? Yes, sir. Just cooking. Uh I've been gardening since twenty twenty pandemic. Oh, same time. Me, me and Cal, uh, me, yeah. we've been gardening about the same time. September the okay. 6th is my uh, three-year gardening anniversary. And oh. the cool, cool thing about the first week I started gardening, I made my first YouTube video on this channel, so it's easy to document that stuff. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. And yeah. I had fruit trees in my first video. Oh, I, I was destined for fruit tree greatness. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. I just wish it would rain. Do, 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 do. Oh, I wish it would. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm drunk tonight. Oh, God. Somebody I'm always got to sing. Please forgive me. Come on, man. He didn't want like that. I just wish it would rain. Do, do, do. Oh, boy. That's not oh. almost like it. You got to you have to like interview your sweet potatoes to see how they like the rain, bro. Huh? You got to interview oh. your sweet potatoes. I think I'm gonna cut my slips off today from the sweet potatoes. I think I'm gonna cut them off today because I, I want to saute way. them. Because they say you can you saute can them. I want to. I want to know you can what just that. olive oil and, and some and salt and, and pepper. Don't cut. Don't cut the whole vine off. Just to leave. Okay. Just and just like saute them and. You can even cut the vine and take the leaves off, but don't cut all the vine is what I'm saying. All of it. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to get out there and do that. I want to taste them. All right. First off, uh, let us know how it tastes. Uh, yeah. Good. We'll do. Good. They good? It's good. What it's it taste good, like, David? Okay. Yeah. What you just do? Like just green. salt and pepper on them? Just, um, just spice them? How you want to spice them? Just how okay. you season That's what I did last uh, year. I'm, I'm going to have to put some garlic in there. I know. Yeah. And as long as you got some cornbread, hell, you don't know the difference. <laughs> big faith, big faith. Uh, so, okay. okay. So we're going to get up out of here. But before before we, we take a step and do anything, shots out to the moderator. Shots out to Nikki, the everyday life of OCDS chick. Go check Nikki, out. Nikki, Nikki. She go live every Saturday at 7 o'clock oh, with the chat. Why you blow my mind? Hey, you can't. Yeah. You can't. Where, uh, the chat at 7 o'clock every Wednesday. You can find her on Hands in the Dirt channel on Wine Down. Wednesday doing big thing. No whammy. Um, what's up, Diva? In the she has dirt a beautiful park. garden. Nikki has a gorgeous garden. Yeah. The Diva is popping in. Welcome in, Diva. Um, okay, Diva. Nikki's always supportive of everybody. Her and GT. Yes. And Stacy, yep. Micro Farmer. Yeah. Hold on, 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 you calling out too many, man. You're not getting too many people. Oh, I'll tell you. All them in the chat. 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 I don't care about all them being in no chat for one time. I don't care about that. Hey, I'm going to call out my people. They they, they are so they all your people in the chat. Call them out. And that, your people, my people too. You just call them out. A vibe. They, they, they are a vibe, right? Yeah. Micro niggas. Yes. Yeah. Some of them oh. is a vibe. Some of them is. Oh, some of them. Look at. Oh, wow. Why you hating, oh, David? G Mama grows hard in the just garden. Shots out to yes. G Mama for not only having a yes. YouTube channel, but G Mama did. On multiple channels doing her thing. Shouts out to G Mama. Yeah. Uh, shouts yeah. out to uh, moderator GT Junior Grows It, Alaska. You got no excuses if you can't grow things. And if he can grow things while he yeah. finds will to be some bison <laughs> in his backyard. Yeah, no, in ice. Ooh. Exactly. <laughs> so, and I had. And coming next week, it's going to be David, the moderator, just because I speak to everybody in the chat on Gross Channel. Thank y'all. I got to Moderators. Right. Oh, next, next. Okay, David. Well, I don't go live next week. The week after next, we're gonna have more moderators in the chat because my moderator working work way too hard. But we, I, I, uh, cowboys suck. The Saints suck. 
Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, PIA. <laughs> hey, check it out. The Steelers suck. Uh, the Rams suck. I don't care about none of them. What about they Detroit Lions? They suck. They hey. suck, suck, suck. They coming back. They coming back. They coming back. Go Falcons. Go Falcons. Go Falcons. Go oh, Lord. Anyway, you know, you know, it was nice to meet you, Precious. You too. You too. All right. Well, hey, Calvin. Have in here. All right. Have a good one. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. Take care what, y'all. What, what, David? What, what, what? What, Bro, what do you want? Hey, look. Hey, they, they blocked the uh, educated natural uh, comments. She said Falcon suck and they blocked them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sweet. Oh, oh no. <laughs> wow. Don't be blocking my classmate. Hey, shots out to you too. Hey, they, they, they automatically block. <laughs> Y'all have a great hey, evening. Have a great evening. Wait. All right. Hey, team. Team. Wait. I need. Can oh, you do a God. video? Can you do a, one of them old school videos? But DC, like, why like you come on late? One of old school videos on on on, on this clown. Oh, they got my boy TWA. What's up? <laughs> hey, hey, PIA, are you still gonna drop down? I'm not rushed. I just, I got the. Yeah, that's it. I, got, I, I got understand. You got somebody else coming up? Yes, yeah, so I'm about to drop down because I need to cut up some vegetables and stuff. Bye, PIA. All, All right, y'all. PIA. Take care. Yes. Time. All right. Ooh. What up, growing together, nurse? L L. What's up? What's up? How are y'all? What's up? Oh, my uh, God, I was going to get out, but DT Queen Grows or last bit Growing Together Nursery LLC. Y'all, y'all have the last comments on this channel. So, sirs, last Go comments. ahead, DT. All right. Well, I work two full time jobs. That's over 80 hours a week. I'm a husband and a dad, and I'm still able to grow. I got bad conditions. Because it snows a lot. I got four months, three months of growing that I could do, but I still get it done. I grow in hydroponics. I grow indoors. I got chickens. I I cannot stop. I have dreams and ambitions to do more. So I'm just going to continue to strive. Um, and that's about sums it up. You're gonna, I'm going to start doing lives on a consistent basis. Um, probably 6 o'clock Alaska time on Mondays. So I'm just trying to get everything in the right perspective, but. But GT, wait a minute. They say it's 90 degrees outside. They can't go outside and grow there. GT, how you feel about that? I wish I could get 90 degrees up here. <laughs> I wish I could. I would just get. Yeah, I would. I would definitely do a lot of different things if I had 90 degrees weather. I would definitely grow a lot of melons, a lot of melons and cucumbers, all those things. We we never got. I never have seen ninety degrees in Alaska ever, ever in my life. So, yeah. Whoa! What in the world? Oh, yeah. that's oh, wait, wait. That that man. You don't know growing together nursery. Y'all go first off. Y'all go check out growing together nursery. We're gonna make sure growing together nursery when he hey, starts man. taking all I'm locked in. That, that we go over there and we support our guy in our community. This is I appreciate that, y'all. He's our nursery. Once he get ready for the business we about to send him, that will be our nursery going forward in our community. <laughs> Most definitely. That's I'll do class. what I can. I'll try to hold it down over here in 9 b <laughs> But, uh, you know, I'm not really a YouTuber. I'm just out here screwing around. Uh, as far as the YouTube game goes, I only got like four or five videos, not much. Um, I but I'm not, I, Yeah, I just, just started, you know, just getting my feet wet. Um, primarily, I just uh, started a nursery this year in March, so uh, just getting going. But uh, I just went ahead and wanted to go ahead and put up a couple of uh, videos. That way, um, people can go ahead and follow the, the process and the journey uh, along everything. But um, for the most part, just out here selling fruit trees and vegetables. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And hey, wait, 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 sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Hey, big green. Some are, some are hey, ornamental, hey. like the uh, mojito. Go ahead. I'm say sorry. what? Go ahead. No, I said he said the magic word, fruit trees. Put them on the yeah. tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We always got those, man. I got a bunch of them over here in the ground. I got a food forest in the back and also doing a, a nursery up here in the front, trying to show people what's possible. 
um, in the zone. And well, I'm also pushing the zones as well. So um, I got greenhouses that I go ahead and, and cram uh, in January because it gets down to like 26 over there. So you do lose what, fruit trees, unfortunately. Go ahead. What's your state and uh, grow zone, if you don't mind us asking? It's Florida, 9B. I am north of Orlando, about uh, 30 miles north. We were yep. in the same grow zone. I'm just in California. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. It was a lot drier over there, I would assume. Yeah, today it wasn't, but it, it's it's been a weird summer. It's been, a, we got a hurricane. Oh, yeah. It's just the weather has been weird. It's never rained this much before in the summer in California. And I'll be 50 next year, so it. It's been a weird summer for weather. Congratulations. Totally not all. all right. <laughs> but uh yeah, I mean, by all means, come over and check us out. Um, if you're ever in the in the city, by all means stop on by. You know, I just I was gonna pop on earlier, but I had a couple people show up just now. I'm open till six, so um uh, gotta go ahead and help out the, the customers or whatnot. But I appreciate uh, you have a, uh, on. I appreciate y'all. You, 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 you got a passion for that. You got a passion for that, don't you? Hey. Man, I do, man. I was actually a fisherman before this. Um, was fishing all, all the time, every week, you know, and then uh, kind of gave up the rods and went into this full time. I quit my job in May and decided to go ahead and just start slinging trees, man, because Blanking I feel like trees, this, look, you got to always is, have food. I mean, you, you, you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day, but you know how to fish, so you're going to eat forever, and now Dang right. food for us and your nursery, so you you set. You don't, have, I'm trying. you don't ever have to worry about food. Got, I don't know you how nice, to You got a nice... I'm trying, I'm trying over here, trying to show people how easy it is, you know what I mean? Um, hey. the, the hardest thing is probably garden your, your fruit trees. You, know, you got... And not only the, the two-legged creatures, but you got the four-legged ones, you got the squirrels, you got the coons, you got the armadillos come in here and shred up my stuff. But that's part of it. You share. You know what I mean? Um, there's and, enough to go around for everyone. And he got uh, some passion fruit over there. Uh, yeah, the purple passion fruit, I think, was your latest video. Yeah. yeah do, you ship, do, you, do, you, do you ship Do you ship fruit? Do, um, if somebody buys it? it not, I don't. I don't sell. I'm not trying to concentrate on the fruit because the problem with that is then you got to spray. They want everything like immaculate with no blemishes on the fruit. And I'm trying to grow as organically as possible. I don't spray anything. I got you. But BT every you. blue moon, you know. And every time yeah. I spray that, whenever it decides to, um, there's the passion fruit there. If you can see it, Ooh. it's a trellis. So. Oh, um, man, you that's got just it growing. Like you got it growing. Um, but this one, this thing gave us like over 200 fruits this year um, and took 26 degrees. No problem. The top the top leaves kind of got burnt up a little bit, but came right back. And I'm going to extend it out a whole nother a whole nother cattle panel out because I want to put like a bench and maybe some chairs underneath there to kind of hang out and read. But no. uh, that's beautiful. Now, that please, is un please understand we we all support people doing positive things in our community. If we know somebody who made t-shirts in our community and they are positive people, that's you should get t-shirts from there. If you have a nurture like growing together nurture who's positive and a part of our community, we should support our community. That's that's all I'm saying. Respect, and, respect. And we will doing that. We will do that going forward as we continue to grow our community and it gets larger. And people appreciate it. It's going to come. And this this is my vision for our garden community. And I'm not the leader of the garden com community. I'm just a part of it. I'm just <laughs> a part of it. But I have to do my part also. And I envision one day that our garden community, if, if somebody want to sell garden uh, tools or something like that, they're going to come to our garden community and they're going to have their products go to Pro Precious SoCal. She's going to get a sprinkler system. GT going to get the latest invention <clears throat> with chicken. <clears throat> Every good variety of fruit tree growing together in the nursery going to get that. And we're going to do what I can. <laughs> and we're going to exchange goods, and it's going to be a beautiful community. Please understand a community is built up of, oh, what? Whoa, what is that? Cranberry hibiscus. You just, you just ate that wrong. You just ate it? Yeah. Oh. This stuff is excellent. <laughs> Life is good. Life is real good over there. 
I'm getting jealous. Now I want to go get Acre of Lamb, but who's going to take care of it? Oh, he eating the leaves, too. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eat the leaves, eat the flowers, eat it all, man. It's a good job. <laughs> People say um, cranberry hot. Wait, 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 wait. wait. He, he eating the leaves. You eating the leaves? Yes. Yeah. Eat the leaves on yes, it. Yes, this is this is cranberry hibiscus. Um, you can eat the leaves. You can make the teas out of them. Um, a lot of people get it confused with sorrel, Jamaican sorrel. That one's um, slightly different, but the same. You can't eat the the leaves and the flowers on that. That's this guy right here. Uh, same thing. The green, the green Man, I'm glad you said something because I was about to go attack my tree, my Jamaican <laughs> tree. <laughs> man, I was about to go rape it. I mean, I was about to go hit it, man. I swear, I'm finna go take the leaves off of it, man. I'm finna go get it, boy. Nah, Thank nah, you, man. Yeah, these are already flowering. They're starting to come up. Now, growing together, nursery. Uh, I don't really know how to propagate uh cranberry hibiscus. You hear me? If it, if it only propagates through seed, is that does it only propagate through seed? I don't know if he heard. Oh, there he is. Oh, what happened? Sorry, I think I cut out. He went too far. He went too far. The, you uh -oh, too much. I showed too much. Yeah, can the no, no, cranberry no. hibiscus only be propagated through seed? Or That's the best. That's the best method. You can do it through cuttings, um, but just like Moringa, it has a longer taproot, and you want it to go all the way down to the earth and extract the nutrients and put them out to their leaves. So it's healthier if you grow it by seed. Okay. Right. But either way, I mean, if you have to just jump start it by cutting, by all means, but always go for the seed. I look, I growing together nursery didn't say this, but go over to his channel and watch a video and tell him, hey, you want one of them uh, cranberry hot biscuit cutting? <laughs> Over there and see. I'll see what I can do for you. Some seeds on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm I gonna go you. to Etsy and look for some seeds. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Growing together, nursery. Do you got uh, cranberry hibiscus seeds? Yeah, I don't have any seeds. I got some small starts basically. Um, okay. At the moment, I planted out some seeds, and what I do is I just sell the starts. Probably like, like a dollar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he's like, like a, boy. No, she said like a dog. Ooh, 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 yeah. Little little babies like that. Ooh, they pretty. Yeah, four inch pot. That's, that's and, how much you said again? Get <laughs> a dollar. A dollar. <laughs> I, I usually sell these for like five, six bucks, depending on their size. Okay. Nothing crazy. Well, that's equivalent to, to a dollar in the eighties, you know. Just like when gas was ninety two cents, now it's six dollars. Yeah, that's that's a great price. They don't even have ninety nine cent right? <laughs> in California, <laughs> they ain't got the ninety nine cent menu anymore. Right, then you so got the green hibiscus, which is edible as well. You can eat these leaves as well. Is okay. You said hibiscus. Is it cranberry mm -hmm. or hibiscus? There is cranberry hibiscus, and then there's green hibiscus. Okay. Most of them are edible flowers, anyway. So. Some of them have edible leaves, though. So we we learning something here, y'all, from a person that owns a nursery. So that's why we asked because we don't know. But he's telling us, and he's out here eating in front of us from his. Is broke already? I'm no on expert. The internet? I'm no expert. I've only been growing for like eight yeah. years, and I'm still learning. But you, <laughs> university has taught me a bunch, and I'm still picking up a lot of pro tips as well. So I'm on this. Um, Broke I'm on this adventure every order. day trying to I find out some new stuff. on your website ordering some cranberry hibiscus. No, no, no. no. I, of course no, no. Broke, broke on that Google. He he, he getting his seeds together. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm all of the book. But no, I, I got rid of, uh, I got rid it's of the Marina. comment. She was talking about garden hose, but I didn't know how you two were going to take it. So I took, tape. Yeah, man. So I took hmm? that out. But look, Marina oh, good. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Marina said, good. How close to Ocala are you? Ocala, Florida. Who? 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 There you go. Growing together. How close are you to Ocala? Um, probably like forty minutes, forty-five minutes ish. Oh, you super. Not close. too far. Mm hmm. Yep. What's up, uh, Urban Garden Chronicles? Glad to have you in here. But we gonna head out. I want to thank everybody who came up. Thank, thank you. For who make this channel special? Let's keep growing together. Let's keep being who we are, and let's be a greater community. And uh, when uh, GT starts selling his hair sheen uh, concoction of juices and berries, we all gonna go to get some. 
because I don't even have hair, and he's sitting here with his, his, his small fro. Hook me up, man, I've been, yeah, I've been wanting to talk. I've been wanting to, I've been wanting to speak on that little TWA for, for months, man. Nobody has berry, any man. hair here, but Deuce and Barry. When you start getting them natural juice and berry going, please hook us up. Please. They say <laughs> rosemary helps, but I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> I got rosemary. Hey, bro, it's going to take a long time for that rose, baby, to take effect. <laughs> but look, y'all have a good day. Enjoy y'all Sunday. I appreciate y'all coming through. One of the best parts of my Sunday, man. Y'all have Thank y'all. We out of here, man. Bye. Take care. All of y'all. Happy Sunday, y'all.